Welcome, agents, to Strain 47-FMA of the Zero Point Report, a broadcast all about the news surrounding the Secret World IP. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, 2021, and I am your host for this evening, Ocho. With me tonight, we have Waffle. Oh, that's me. A two-ton Waffle, even. Yes. Professor Two-Ton Waffle (laughs) Esquire. Esquire. (laughs) Really, it's not, it's not Doctor. <laughs> PhD. And we have Jimmy the Rabbit. hey Hey. How are you guys doing? It's Friday Eve. Friday. Yes, finally. Well, Again. I'm, not ru- I'm not running, so that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting down for once. And I'm trying out my new, my new margarita tumbler. Excellent. Oh, that Kalani got. Gotcha. Or made for you. Oh, yeah. what is it? I haven't seen that. What does that say? Uh, it says, when life gives you limes, make margaritas. Fair. Don't be a salty bitch. Save the salt for the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the green screen, because that's green and white, so the oh, green yeah, yeah. doesn't like it. But the interesting part is this up here. Like, that's not ice. You know, this is all like plastic. This is all like molded. Oh, okay. Like this. This is the lid. So it's it's kind of cool. It's cool. Uh, and it's a it's a Kylani original. I believe so. I mean, she made the she made the tumbler coating stuff, uh, at least for sure. I actually nice. have to ask her. I wish the straw was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> You need a, I mean, like, a wider diameter. Of yes, straw. Is yes. It like a yeah, like a, it's like a, a it's little a, thin the, straw. The straw is plenty tall, but yeah, I, I would prefer a wider diameter straw. <laughs> I, I need, I need you know, <laughs> something something around like that. It's like with a, with a better flow rate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like when Mountain Dew first came out with wide mouth cans, and it was like, why aren't all cans like this? <laughs> I don't like normal cans now are just gross to me. Why would you do that? You know? Did I I don't have I ever had one of those? I'm not even sure. Aren't all cans wide mouth now? <laughs> yeah, I would, I would assume did they, ever, did they all switch. I'm I I may have yeah, happened, like, I just really didn't notice. Okay, so th- here. This did you crash. Again. This this is a wide mouth can. See it? Okay, yeah. Whereas like a normal one, the sides we cut off. It's 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 narrow. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like yeah, it would the... be it would it would like cut off <laughs> like this part and this part. Maybe maybe if I had like a thin mouth one now, I'd be like, what is this nonsense? I don't know. Dude, it's so... I remember having, like, one from, like, a different soda when Mountain Dew was, like... No, that's a, that's a wide mouth. Yeah. It's it's yeah. everywhere. Yeah, everyone was just like, why the fuck aren't we all doing this? And they just... <laughs> it went everywhere. But for a while, for, like, a pretty decent amount of time, like, it was a special thing. And, like, Coke. Coke was all still, like, narrow. You know what I mean? Oh, keep the classic uh, look. But it's, like... It also, like, here's the weird part about it. It affects the way the liquid comes out. Oh, it absolutely does. Like, yeah. it causes it to not just funnel, but, like, kind of tumble over itself when it's mm-hmm. narrow. You can't get, you can't drink as much as fast, but also, like, it just affects the, things like that can actually affect, like, the flavor profile because it, it, like, mixes it up differently and it causes it to hit different parts of your tongue differently. Mm-hmm. Like it can actually affect uh, taste. O- oddly enough, the receptacle and the shape of the recept- receptacle you consume from <laughs> can affect that. You just crashed you again. He just, he, what he's crashed like four machine? times in a row. What's that? Crash, crash, crash. What did you crash, do to your crash, machine? Crash. Nothing. Actually, I completely wiped it out um, Mon- no, Tuesday. Oh, that's what you did wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I was I had been running Windows 11 for about two months. 
Okay. How did that go? Not too bad. Say you updated to 11 already? Well, this is back to Windows 10. So that good, huh? Well, as I was doing um, some recording on a, on a video, and when I was trying to edit and resolve, it's kind of like the after I get to a certain point, all the sound gets dropped off. And then if you try going backwards, you lose audio. But you can still see this, the waveform there. So you had to... Huh. I had to go past where the little mix up or like it dropped a little bit. Right. Clip that out and then it started again. And then of course it happened a little bit further on. So for it took a little bit long. It took longer to edit a video than normally would. Huh. It had to go cut out the little bit, save it, import import it into Resolve, and then combine everything. It's like. So I, was, I don't know if that was it was a Windows 11 issue because it never happened before, or if it was something else. Don't know. Don't know what to tell you. Yeah, but other than that, it was fine. I was I haven't been hearing too many too many bad things about it. Other than other no. than that, it's uh, um, like you needed to have and you need to have like a a pretty decent system. Not necessarily. I'm. This is a uh, Ryzen two uh, twenty seven hundred. Or no wait, it wasn't necessarily a decent system. It was you needed to have like a uh, a very specific setting. Oh yeah, it's the TPM. Yes, you had to turn that on. So I'm gonna role play walk everywhere because I don't know if that's. <laughs> If, if running <laughs> running well, is making you crash I guess so I don't know <laughs> that's fine but walking walking is just fine yeah <laughs> RP I mean, so far dancing in place is okay at least <laughs> <laughs> when it has to load new resources that's when it suddenly get, goes overboard what's a new person's gonna jump onto the pad and you're gonna crash <laughs> as you like download the shirt that you didn't have or something. Well, I've been standing here long enough for the past couple months, so I think I should download have downloaded all the assets. <laughs> Hold on, let me come visit you. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, well, why'd you come over? Because don't you actually? Yeah, doesn't Jimmy have all of the assets, or at least all of uh, you got the? I don't, uh, have, I don't have all, but I have. I have a lot. Hey, holy crap. Someone renamed. I was going to wait to see how long it took somebody to catch that. I, dude, dude, I saw you for literally half a second and I was like, holy crap, you renamed. I don't know what <laughs> Mikey's excuse is. I don't have any. I saw it and it didn't click. <laughs> He's now two ton I saw it and I was like, well, yeah, name. that's two ton waffle. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course that's his name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who else would it be, right? Duh. Duh. Who, who else is that? Stupid. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I did it as we were talking in Discord. I was like, you know what? I might as well do this. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I'm going to do it. going to pull the trigger. Yeah, it's only a thousand. Get the name change. I mean, I've been holding on this arm for what? Years. <laughs> well I, that's what i said last time i was like dude like now i'm down to 2334 <laughs> was it <laughs> yeah it was like you have the arm the arm is right there yeah <laughs> because you have that arm like very specifically earmarked for something else but no well i, I think um let's see Yeah, I don't know. Like, what what else? What else would you be doing with? It? <laughs> like, the only thing that I would do with it is uh, what the the sprints to get like sprint six. Yeah, and I haven't even bought what I haven't even bought that for any of my characters. So I'm a dragon holding on to my gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what I was gonna say. I think like 
earlier this week, I was down to something really dumb, like 13 moth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm over here just like broke his shit. And then well, I go look over at Waffle and he's he's just like sitting on a pile of orange. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I don't have that shit for more than like a day or two. That shit is like radioactive. It just burns a hole. <laughs> As it as it is, I spent like sixty bucks just on the on the peculiar box for my guitar character because it never dropped. Oh no! Okay. And and just so you're aware, two million moth is roughly sixty dollars. Is that what, is that what it is in the in the that was what someone was selling it for? No, no, no. You buy it from the vendor. Oh, okay. The the guy that sells um. Well, Doctor, what's his face? What is his name again? Caligari. Is it Cal Cal Caligari? Caligari. Yes. He sells all the different things. He sells the pecul peculiar box for two million marks. Two million marks. Two million. Now, when I did one IP man, that shit dropped from a mission in Tokyo for me, so it wasn't a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the guitar guy. I do I hundred percent the entire game, and it never dropped once. And I was like, "Well, I don't want to just grind this character for the next six months <laughs> for a drop." You know what I mean? Just waiting for the drop to happen. Yeah, I was like, "No, no, 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 we're not doing that." Uh, so I figured it out. Yeah, it was like sixty bucks. But I, I would it. say I would say Waffle should join us in the middle of Agartha, but oh, I can. <laughs> no, our our uh, RP walk really there. slowly. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. As my computer erupts into flames. <laughs> I mean, that's fine as well. Yeah. Oh, it survived the drop. So. That was actually very impressed. I didn't break any of the, uh, the side panels. How far was it of a drop? Uh, off the desk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even I have a, a dent in the in the uh, the floor. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Like it broke it broke the uh, front plastic fascia off, but that was about it. But the, the tempered glass side panels, nothing. Wow. And I was more worried about that. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I was expecting to pick up just a uh, shattered glass for the next couple hours. Looks like Caligari is over here. But it says something that you at least broke your floor a little bit <laughs> yeah i got it it's a nice little gouge in, in the in the wood jesus dude well partially it was my fault because i had it facing this way and daughter i got into the chair and when she turned the back of the chair pushed it off no. and like caught the end of it yeah You know, the, de the desk that I have is, uh, it's for a long time now. I think I thought it was, it's wholly unsuitable for like a, a decent PC setup. It's like a basic computer desk, but it only holds like a, like a basic tower, not, not like a full tower. So the, so the full tower, oh. the only place to put it in this desk is like literally like right underneath of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's like my legs are like almost pressed right up against it. Good times. That's what it is. Good times. On the floor. That's what she said. said. <laughs> <laughs> sure. No, we're going off going off that that uh, you know that everyone says you should not just put it on the floor. 
Should not no, put it directly don't. on the floor. Especially with carpet. I threw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, it's down there. No, it's it's on like the case itself has pretty decent supports, but uh, and it's on a oh my hardwood basically. On, my it's computer's fine. on the ground. It's just on the floor. But I hear people say that all the time. They're like, "Well, what about like flooding or spills?" I'm like, "If I got flooding going on, I got significantly worse issues." <laughs> right, <than."> right. <laughs> if my house is flooding such that my computer is in danger, I have other problems. Right. I've got an inch of water in my living room. <laughs> And that's a problem. Yeah, but is the computer yeah. okay? <laughs> I mean, it's going to take a little while for water to get high enough to hit the hard drive. If the water hits the hard drive of my computer, which is, you know, really the important part um, with the data. No, every every part, especially nowadays. You. <laughs> no, no, no. But, like, what I'm saying is, like, let's say the computer's sitting there and, and it's, let's say it's off, right? Mm-hmm. As long as the as long as like the hard drive isn't like literally engulfed in water and drowning, like if the water stays below that, I can just take the hard drive out and put it in a different computer or something, right? And and, and pretty much retain everything, at least everything important. But yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. Like, what what do you want me to do? I put put my you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like putting put some up on uh, bricks or something. Well, yeah. What do you no, want? No, you get do? pool noodles. <laughs> pool noodles, <laughs> pontoons. Exactly. <laughs> right. If it starts floating, that's yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. Totally. You would need to like that would not work because t- towers are usually like this. So like, oh, as soon as they float up, they would just you have, like you that. Have, like no, you have it <laughs> wide, and then you yeah, have... you you would have to have it laid down on purpose. <laughs> the thing is, they're not like most of them aren't built for that to be right. They're usually they're usually pretty operate. heavily weighted on one side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you even like okay, just ignore the weight part. Just they're not built to be operated unless you buy one like um, like server rack ones, right? They're yeah, meant yeah. to be um, horizontal, right? I, I've worked on those before, and those ones are designed that way. Um, oh, can then, you imagine if water we... got into a server uh, a blade? Just the amount like the, the air pressure going through those things would oh, be like a jet going out the back. Right. <laughs> Woo! Oh man, I was in a data center in San Diego for work years ago, and it's like a massive data center. Like, yeah, I think our servers were like three racks down from like CNN servers or some shit, right? Like, it was a massive data center in San Diego. Okay. And like, holy crap! One side of those is freezing, and then you walk mm-hmm. to the other side, and it's fucking high shit oh yeah <laughs> like literally they the, like the hall like because you have like a hallway right it's literally like a hallway to down this fucking huge ass row of racks and on this side it's cold as fuck and on the back side when you walk down that way it's like you're just continuously in a jet engine like you saw. <laughs> it's like like, it's right, like 120 shit. degrees and like you cannot find a happy medium you just keep rotating between <laughs> you're like god i'm cold hold on i'm gonna go to the side Ah, fuck, I'm hot. Let me go to the other side. <laughs> well, I had like a job interview like years ago at the HSN down here at, at one of their data center, which was in their main campus. As soon as you walk in, it's like, what, 40 something or 50 degrees inside the, the building. And there's people's offices are like right on the other side of these uh, racks. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> you have big yeah. jackets just to go sit at your desk. <laughs> Well, they All keep the time. that shit crazy yeah. cold, but the thing is, like, the amount of heat those fuckers expel on the other oh, side yeah. is gargantuan. Like, yeah. just because I actually did have to, like, I wasn't just going to both sides just to like get, you know, change temperature. I kept having to run on the other side because we were we were replacing one of them, and I'd have to go into on the back side to like uh, undo or mess with some cables. So I was I was on the other side for a reason, and I was just like, holy. Fuck, it's cold. And then the other side would be, I'd just be like, God damn it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, sweating. Sweating over here. <laughs> it's too hot shit. over here. And your body, by the way, does not like that. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, going back and forth. Yeah. When you go back and forth in the span of literally like two seconds, and the temperature difference is probably like 30 degrees or something. <laughs> it's just like, holy Yeah, your fuck. body's just telling you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> yeah. 
That was a pretty interesting experience, though. Like that that shit. Like we had to be uh, escorted, and there was like you know biometric security. Like the, not that we had because we didn't have permission for shit. Like the person with us was had to like you know <laughs> scan their shit stuff mm-hmm. and like let us in. That was pretty pretty crazy. Uh, I've been watching. I, I catch it every once in a while, like on YouTube. There's the um, like the Amazon like. They have these data trucks. They're basically mobile versions of their AWS server um, rack systems, and they're highly secured. There's no markings. You wouldn't know exactly what this thing is, except for like huge amount of cables connected to the back of it. But yeah, some of the security that you got biometric, you got even before you even get onto the property, you're being recorded at the guard oh, even yeah. before the guardhouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah the, like the brochure for that shit was like it was rated. The data center was rated to like survive being hit directly by a plane. <laughs> it's like a, pl- a plane can crash, like headlong into us, and your server will stay up. <laughs> I was like, holy shit! And you will be fine. And they have like redundant You're power like, systems. How do you test like that. I don't know. <laughs> Well, first of all, you hire Harrison Ford. <laughs> Get off my plane. And then you put him in a plane. Because <laughs> he has a reputation now of crashing planes. You'd be like, yeah, he's like, can I see can I see your uh your your test work on that, please? Can, can, like, I, can well, I need to see the validation on that one? Well, we had Harrison Ford, like say no more. <laughs> <laughs> Say, say no more. I completely like, we got understand. it. We got it. Waffle. What's up? You changed your name, but you did not get your daily reward. <laughs> hey, you're going to be asking way too much. You got one <laughs> thing. <laughs> Just wait till next month or the month after. For your daily reward? <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, did I'll you give miss a- the word? Daily, somewhere in that sentence. For Christmas, I'll, I'll open it up and collect. <laughs> just well, as a I treat. I just thought it was a Christmas present. I didn't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's the season of giving. I didn't even realize that's what that little box was. A present? No, oh, that's yeah, the daily login reward stuff. Yeah, but you, I've wait, never... you didn't. You didn't know it was a present, or you didn't know it was a login reward. I didn't know it was login rewards. I never clicked on it. It's always uh, <laughs> well for me, it's always grayed out. So I never really. No, you don't have to be patron for that. Everyone gets a login reward. No, I know, but I mean, like, I always collect mine, so it's always grayed out. Oh, we're done. Got <laughs> Yeah, if you yeah. log in and like the screen pops up and you just hit OK as opposed to finding the tiny X, right? Which yeah, no, I, I go for the tiny X. I'm just like, Pfft. yeah. If you if you log in and work. actually collect it, <laughs> that's always grayed out. So, hey, bomber. Hey, What's bomber. Waffle a hard time about not opening his presents. <laughs> I mean, that's not why they're there. I mean, it's decoration. I mean, look look how beautiful the top bar is. <laughs> so nicely wrapped. <laughs> exactly. You've got a Segway. You've got a... <laughs> you got a, the Honey logo, the B logo, a present, a little shopping cart with a green plus sign on it. My smog hoard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was down so low. So low. Um, at one no point, moths for you. Oh, it was when I was um, I wasn't even streaming this shit. I was up stupid late. I think l- last week or the week before. Okay, I was up like to like four in the morning on like a school night. <laughs> We're to watch the kids to school the next. <laughs> like, just dumb. Because I was decided I was going to solo an E8 dungeon. 
just to see if I could. <laughs> just to see if it could happen. And I did. I okay. did up until Eblis at mm. the end of Hell Eternal. Mm -hmm. And that took me like three hours. <laughs> Eblis took me like three hours. And I ran out of Moth to refill my health potions. And then the daily reset happened and I had more health potions from the reset and I ran out of those and still didn't have them off for more health potions. Cause I, like I have the add on that like auto buys, mm -hmm. like when you run out of health potions, you don't have to remember to do it. And I just straight up ran out of money to auto. Refill it. <laughs> it was like, you're down to three Aram or three, yeah. three moths. Fucking three hours like, of, what? of trying to solo Eblis in Hell Eternal on like E8. Like, holy crap. I was so mad. So mad. Especially when I would get to like uh like the last phase. Like I'd be like in, in cast out phase and I started getting um what are the hell are those stacks called? Uh Dream Dream something okay they're like it they're in rage stacks you only get them if you go past the encounters like time um like i was so i was fighting eblis for over 10 minutes and so there's like a hard and rage encoded and you get these stacks that uh basically like insta kill you like they're they're non-cleansable you can't really heal through it at least once it hits 40. Um, once it hits 40 stacks, it doesn't matter what your shit is. Like, it's going to hit you for, like, 300 million damage or something. <laughs> it's it's it's, uh, it's a... It's sort of like a do not pass go, do not collect $200 kind of thing. Yeah. Like, it just says no. You... you uh, Somehow you've cheesed the game and are staying here too long, and you, you, need, you need to go. <laughs> um stop screwing around and kill the boss already i forget I'm, I'm i usually know what they are i'm blinking really hard um oh what the the exact attacks are no, the stack oh. oh a phantasmal killer that's what it's called <laughs> yeah just just a way for <laughs> Because the very first video I ever made for it was actually in TSW. It was uh, in TSW on Hell Raised on Machine Tyrant. Because uh, Machine Tyrant has the Enrage where he just starts casting burn stacks. Yeah. And so it just sets you on fire and then more and more and more and more. But at least in TSW, there were some healers that could heal through that stuff. So this guy was just running around. Everyone else was dead. This guy was just running around kiting Machine Tyrant just healing himself through, like, the 20 burn stacks, right? And then eventually, he started getting Phantasmal Killer stacks, and I was like, what the shit is that? I've never seen that before. I mean, like, I took a video of it. And yeah, those, those are, like, the uh, do not pass go stacks. Like, you you are gonna die to these. Um, like, I think the longest I've ever survived is 40. I think at 40, the amount of damage it hits you with is just astronomical. It's not like a percentage increase at that point. It's just like you're gonna. It's just die a pure now. number increase. Yeah, it's it's a stupid it's a stupid hit. It's 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 literally like 300 million damage. You're like, well, that's <laughs> overkill. I only have like 50k health as a as like a full tank. I think 300 million might be a little much. <laughs> but they're like, you're not mitigating this. You're not doing anything to this. This is going to kill you. Yeah. Like we need to make it high enough so that no matter what happens, yeah, yeah, it'll someone work. just punched in a number. Like it was, yeah. They're like, yeah. <laughs> like what's well, yeah? What number. sounds high? What sounds high? Two million? Five million? Hey, Jesse, uh, or Poland? That's Poland. I have four healers and test that. Yeah, I've got. You can get to thirty. I believe forty is the is the year dead uh, thing. If I'm not mistaken, it definitely was on Eblis when I was doing that one. It's like I could not get past 40. And I think 
I want to say one time I was soloing Darkness War E5, and I went way too long. Like, uh, not yeah, the uh, the la you know how you like you had the Viking guy has the buff. He died, and I was still going, <laughs> but for like a stupid amount of time. And then I got the I got the Phantasmal Killer stacks, but I managed to kill the Final Darkness War boss right before like it was gonna kill me, like right before the stacks were gonna kill me. Not the boss, but the stacks were hitting me so hard, like I was about to die. And I just barely managed to kill the boss before they got me. I would say just calling it oh, phantasmal yeah. killer is just, you know, it's it's a little too on the nose. Like sort of like this will kill you and uh it's it's just, you know, you won't see it coming. It's just uh it's just going to kill you. Yeah. Poland said I got to stack some DO6 cuz yeah, right cuz the viking died. We don't Well, I was soloing it so it's the only one left, but the viking died for me as well. If the viking dies, you're usually pretty pretty screwed. Because he's he's providing the the damage buff. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's supposed to be like this is the this is the guy that's come to save you with the, you know, bringing along Excalibur and ugh, he just dies and you're like, okay, well, it's like, well, uh, I'm screwed. Because <laughs> he gives you like a three hundred percent damage bonus or something weird like that. Um, like yeah, he he makes a massive difference. Like if you don't have him there, all like all of a sudden you realize how hard that fight. <laughs> is oh about. yeah, it's designed. It's designed for him to be there. Right, it's designed with that with that amount in mind. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to do the New York raid without the buff circles, you know. Which can happen, by the way. Uh, you can you can you can get the NPCs killed, and you can if you get Zuberi killed, at least on the uh, E17. Uh, if if you don't pick up Zuberi, none of the buff circles turn on, even if the other guys are alive. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, you can actually get the NPCs killed. Like Rose and Alex and stuff. They can end up dead. And and then you're just kind of screwed because you don't have that buff circle anymore. And you're probably not going to get the uh, damage done in the time limit because, again, it's designed around the damage boost. Damage boost is not, like, optional. I'm like, can it be done? Can you kill one of them? Have the yeah, other ones we, up. Everything's okay. The and then in the final cinematic, they, they come back and they're just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> we hit the Enrage. Uh, to, like, Tuesday, we had a bunch of problems with our E17 raid for, what like, just some weird timing issue. It wasn't even that, like, anyone was screwing up really badly or anything like that. We just had timing issues. Like, some of the worst timings possible uh, that I've honestly ever seen. It was just a really bad day. Uh, we ended up having to call it, and we came back today. And today, today, first try. Of course. Like, just literally first try. Like, uh, went in, someone said, let's do this first try, and we all yelled. At, and we're like, God damn it, why do you jinx us? And we did lose someone. We lost our person that was carrying double exposed, like, <laughs> in, like, the middle phase. And they're like, God damn it. We, I wasn't sure we were going to do enough damage fast enough. But, um, uh, yeah, we still managed to do it. But for whatever reason, Tuesday was just a, a shit show. And and it wasn't like someone like massively messing up or someone, you know, certain people underperforming. It was yeah, just yeah. timings. Timings were, were just enough off to cause all kinds of weird situations to happen. One of which was we had so many people die early that we were still fighting it when the 10 minutes happened. We got to see the planes fly over and drop the napalm. Oh, nice. Stand okay. there in the the shaking glory of all the explosions <laughs> as my screen goes white and orange. <laughs> uh, and then like my shadow play hasn't been working for some reason. I wanted to record it and like my, my shadow play just hasn't been working. Uh, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, the enraged for New York is pretty, pretty cool. Cause whenever you beat it, the airplanes fly over. Mm-hmm. And they don't drop the bombs. I don't think you can hit it. You can't hit Enrage in story mode. I've tried that. I think in E1, you can hit Enrage. You can just like stand there for <laughs> 10 minutes or whatever and you get to see it. Yeah, Vomer, I don't know what's up with my Shadow Play. I literally turn on instant replay 
and then it just turns right back off. Like it, I'm like, turn on. It goes, it goes. Instant replay is on. Instant replay is off. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Oh, like that's not that's not cool, man. I feel like I've been having the same thing with um, just the NVIDIA control panel. Like I oh, tried really? turning on the NVIDIA control panel and it just automatically just just crashes and turns turns off. No, it's like I, I haven't, haven't opened updated. the control panel in like days. I haven't updated my drivers in a bit. I was thinking of updating them and see how how crash happy things get. I just updated them myself. So well, crash happy. Uh, tonight you saw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the latest driver, so. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't go to the latest ones then. Maybe, <laughs> but I'm I'm a, I'm definitely a f- more than a few behind. I know I like, I'm on I'm now on the latest too, but I I use DX9, so mm. I got no uh, issues. Yeah, I, yeah I I'm on I eleven. Yeah, I stay on eleven. If it doesn't work on eleven, I just go to something else that does. <laughs> but I did notice when I loaded Doom Eternal yesterday that it was like your drivers are out of date, <laughs> and I was like, shut up, go. <laughs> I'm not updating them. <laughs> Be like, are you sure you don't want the late? Yeah, shut up. Yeah, I was like, no, 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 no. You can you, you don't require the latest. I, I know when you came out. You shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't come out like a month ago or something. Like you, you, you're fine. But like literally the message from Doom, Etern- Doom Eternal tried to make you think like it was required to launch the game. That was oh, the wording okay. of it. And I was like, uh no. And then the game launched anyways and played just fine. (laughs) But essentially, I think what it does is it reads it as an update available as like a requirement. Though the wording is very forceful. Like it won't, it it seems like it's not going to work. Based on the wording, you would think the game's not going to work. Be like, open it. Yeah, open it up now. Update now, and you're like, it says like update required, (laughs) and I'm like, I don't think so. (laughs) Like, BS, it is (laughs) update this, (laughs) update D's nuts. (laughs) No, I find, I find right now, had to be done. I am, I'm actually having no trouble jumping onto this, uh, this mailbox here, no trouble at all. Just right on top of it. Really? Yeah. Um. Just none. I'm standing on it right now. Oh, you are. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking over at your screen, and I'm just. I'm not. I'm anything but on top of it. Yeah, you haven't even. Been I on haven't it. jumped on it <laughs> once. <laughs> and on my screen, I've jumped on it like twenty times. It's like, nope, we can't show you anyone else on top of it. Except you. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. So, yeah. That happens on the edge of the Camelot stage in London, too. Where you... uh, this is probably <laughs> like the... Uh, not syncing up between clients, so... Yeah, it's like you're you're standing on this. Nope, nope, nope. So I know it's, it's a big problem. It's been a big problem, even with the um, uh, TSW. It was the same thing. It's like um, when they first came out with the chair set emote. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sitting in chair. Uh, no, you're not. You're standing on a chair, yeah, or you're you nowhere near chair, it. Yeah. <laughs> like here, I'm curious now. You you jump on top of it. What am I, your performing monkey? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, you're standing on top of it. Wait, wait. What about, what about? Yeah, come on up here. Oh, wait. Small moves, Ellie. No, I'm up here. No, you're not. Yeah, not I on my am. screen. No, I know, but I'm on my screen. Yeah. See, see how I'm fidgeting around? That's just me moving around on top of it. Yeah. I'm trying to see. Yeah. That, that, yeah, because when you just <laughs> jump, you're jumping much higher than someone should be jumping. Right, so you can tell. Mm-hmm. But yet, Waffle's standing right on top of it. Here, try to get on there now. 
Oh no, it's probably it's because of sync issue between my client and yours. Yeah. Yeah. Like the difference would be. I see. I'm on top now. You, but I'm not. Yeah, because I can tell because you're floating in the air. Yeah, but look look how high I'm jumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird looking. If you like walk out of the area and come back in, like if you get far enough away. Well, yeah, we did that with you... um, your um, the horror, in a couple weeks or yeah, uh, a couple smile. episodes ago. <laughs> it should. It sh there's a there's a chance it'll sync up if you go far enough away and come back. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm like, chancing oh. it. I'm running. I'm running. Uh oh. I was gonna say, uh, but but Ember, or, uh, oh my God, I did it anyway. Ooh, who's this Ember person? <laughs> oh, he paid for the rename. He paid for the he rename and rename. everything. That's and it. it still wasn't I'm, enough. I'm done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Just years, years calling you that. <laughs> um, my bad. My bad. Yes. Yes, Bomber, you got the rename. And Mikey didn't notice. I noticed. I didn't notice. I was like, that's his name. Yeah, of course that's his name. And then then, then, then out of nowhere, I mess it up anyway. Of course I do. Um, What I was saying was Waffle was walking. Maybe that had something to do with it because he was showing consistently on top of it. You guys were on it. There. Yeah. Now you're not going to be back on it. And now I'm not going to be back on it. Yeah. Cuz I cuz nope. I stepped off of it. <laughs> I'm even going to use a sprint. Oh no. Thank you, Why was Then why were then why were you showing as on top of it for me? Why why was I syncing up with you? It's the uh power of the waffles. The power, the why <laughs> <laughs> waffle power. The waffle power. Well, I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> waffle, 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 waffle. Yeah, and uh, now, now I'm on top of it. Yeah, I think it's holding up okay, Clemmy. It needs, it needs a, it needs a wider straw. That's about the only thing I could say. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy the Rabbit, he's a size queen. <laughs> a size king. Thank you very much. <laughs> a king size. Size king. He requires yes. more girth. Yes, Waffle did not spend a single dime. He used the uh, arm that he already had and got the name change. <laughs> From years ago. The arm that he purchased a long From the time DLC ago. DLC that came with the arm. Wow! Um, holy shit! Yeah, that's how long I've been holding on to this. Wait, the what? The, when um, the DLC when it first came to the DLC that came with Orum. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, that's that's <laughs> like collector's edition Orum, like legitimately collector's edition Orum. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even like me making that up. That's legitimately what it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that arm had dust on it. It had just Oh no, no, no. It, it was No, that arm was sealed in the package. <laughs> <laughs> that shit came with the DMC. Jesus Christ. <laughs> finally, finally put it to good use. That's like finding like Nazi gold or some stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. They used, he used the arm and they were like, is this real? They had to like check it a whole bunch of times because it just didn't look right. <laughs> Bite into it. Hey, Kylaney. They had to send it off to uh, Washington, D.C. to make sure. Your, your aura was so old it was green. <laughs> <laughs> Oxidized. Yeah. Now I had to open up the vault. <laughs> that was underneath the cave. God damn that! Che like uh, Cheyenne Mountain. I had to go to Cheyenne Mountain to get my. That's armor. like launch, basically. Right? Pretty much, yeah. Because all that shit kind of came out around launch. Yeah, it was. Uh, I forget which one it was. Um, it I mean, was a couple one... of them had it, right? Yeah. 
I think it was the one that had with the um uh yeah, I don't know if it was the collectors, but it had oh what was the headpiece with the feather. Yeah, the rain mint? Yeah. Right? Because it's the outfit. Yeah, the outfit. Yeah, yeah. And, it, exactly. and I think it came with a couple other things, but that was yeah. the main thing that came with the Orem and the in the outfit. Because that's the same one that has like the boots, right? With like the, the plumage or whatever. Yeah. As well. Supernatural. Supernatural one. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Walmer. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that shit is like Not hell a little old. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> they, I, I don't think the developers originally intended for for players to use that arm that was supplied with that bundle to be used for a name change token twenty years later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was supposed to uh, go up in value. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It, Orum is not Bitcoin. Just FYI. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you might have got some wires crossed there, Andy. <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> hey, as well. Actually, this was pre-Bitcoin. No, it's about the same time. Yeah, my name is a. It's now an NFT. <laughs> That's why I can't actually say it because I don't have the rights to. Uh, I, I didn't actually purchase. What the if NFT. you just made your name NFT and then made an, oh. an, an NFT of your name? That's NFT. <laughs> so <Ooh>. meta. <laughs> Here we go. Even with the desync, I got on top of it. I'm good. That's <laughs> that's that's what we're doing. Yeah, it was um, sixty bucks on a Steam for store. Me. For for me, you're standing next to me. Oh, still still away from it. Just so you know. Of course, we're never in the spots that we think we are. Nope. There's some sort of life lesson there. <laughs> not sure what it is. <laughs> not, yet, not, not sure what that lesson actually is. But there's one there. God damn it. You could put it on a you could put it on a pillow. It's live, love, laugh. <laughs> Just stand in the place where you are. <laughs> <laughs> put that on a t-shirt. It's a song. <laughs> the song lyric? Right? Nobody sees you where you know yourself to be. I don't know. So stand. Yeah, that's place. REM. <laughs> I know it's. Yeah, yeah, REM. Mm -hmm. Stand in the place where you are. <laughs> now you phase north. Think about. Can't sing it. Can't sing it. We don't want to strike. I mean, I could attempt Something. to sing it. We would get a strike for a completely different reason. <laughs> yeah, like, like, God, you just need to stop. stop. You just need to stop. A community violation instead. <laughs> I should be like lead singer Rari Emmy. He's like, I own the rights to it. And I just want you to stop. <laughs> you committed a war crime, sir. <laughs> uh, continuing to do this. Against the Geneva Convention. <laughs> it's cruel and unusual. So, so as far as news go for this week, we didn't have too much news um, pass around. All we saw was just just two things worth of mention anyway. Uh, the first is that Conan Exiles Update 2.5 is out on Steam and PC Game Pass. Uh, which, in, which this, this actually made me happy because I was playing, um, I was recently playing Conan Exiles and I got to the point of making an animal pen and I made one and realized that it's the size, it was like bigger than the house that I had made. <laughs> this animal pen. And so, and it was like right on top of like a spawn point of some monsters. So every time I walked over to it, some monsters were like trapped in the pens and always trying to, to attack me from, it was, it was weird. Well, now they have small animal pens. The animal pens are actually much smaller now. 
uh, as well as showing sheathed weapons, server transfers, and a whole bunch of other tons of quality of life fixes. So, big update for Conan Exiles went through. And then the second piece of news we have is that, now this is old news, but apparently we're just getting around to, to actually checking it out now, which happens, I guess. What is at the end of June, Funcom announced that they actually acquired a majority stake in the Swedish game developer studio The Outsiders and announced a plan to open a new studio in Bucharest by the end of the summer. Which and is Romania. fast approaching. The expansions will lead to increased resources for both the Rhythm FPS Metal Hellsinger and the upcoming Dune game. So once more, it just shows that uh, really Funcom is just going all in on Dune. All in. Just... Yeah. Hopefully the it movies will... turn out okay, because... <laughs> I mean, I saw the trail. The last trailer looked pretty fucking good. I mean, they look good, yeah. I'm not going to lie. They look good. Like, yeah. honestly, I feel like they'd have to work to fuck it up. Well, it's either, like, uh, like, the movies, like, they're, you know, it's, the movies look good, but, you know, these days, who knows? It could, it could actually turn out to just be, like, meh, it's okay. No, but what I mean is, yeah, okay, it's all right. let's say even if, like, you thought it was meh, or I thought it was meh, or whatever, right. I don't see something... It's like, I don't know. Did the Jar Jar being Star Wars was the movie, was it that great? No. Did it do oh, really high numbers? Pretty sure it did. Yeah. Well, yeah. that was also because it was the only Star Wars film after 30 something years. So the right. hype. So was when huge. was the last Dune movie? Right. Yeah. This is, a, this is what I mean. Something. Sort of, sort of similar <laughs> in that vein. Yeah. When I was right. born. <laughs> Return of the, or, um, yeah, Return of the Jedi who came out probably to save time. <laughs> it's early yeah, like, 80s. Yeah, so th that's what I mean, though. Like, it, it, it's, I think it has at least some, like, from what I understand, from A, from the trailer I've seen, and from what I've heard, like, actually, I, I think it's going to be really, really good. But my point is, it could be even mediocre and probably still do gangbusters because it's a franchise kind of film. Yeah, yeah. And you, there's been some people waiting for another Dune, something to try and capture it. Even if it doesn't do super well at doing it, I think enough people will go check it out, right? And then there's supposed to be, and you also know there's a sequel, right? Or, or if not, uh, we don't know yet. No, no, they already, they're, I'm pretty sure the Dune is not planned to be a singular movie, it's planned to be. A whole I series. I don't know if it's planned to be quite like Lord of the Rings, but I mean, I would think think along those lines, it's planned to be like a multi. Well, I mean, the Dune the Dune series of books is like what six books long or something like that, seven books long. Yeah, it's it's something. Plan, it's planned to be to be multi. They're not. I, I think if I recall reading, it's at least two movies for sure. Mm -hmm. Like Kill Bill One, Kill Bill Two, or style or something, right? Like. It's at least two movies, if not. Yeah, because the source three. material, the the oh, first what? part of taking it, like the first book yeah. and making that into two separate movies, sort of thing. Oh yeah, because if you if you look at, well, I don't know if anyone's read the source material, but it's pretty meaty. And then for the first half, and maybe a little bit into the third quarter, but the last part of it, it could be a complete action movie all by itself. Yeah. Okay. So. I, I remember reading something. I'm pretty sure there's at least two, like already, like, and they're probably even shooting footage for the second one. You know what I mean? Because yeah, they shoot things sometimes at the same time. No, it's the first book is only just one book. It's 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 big. It's thick. That's what said the director mentioned Dune Messiah. Okay. Yeah, because that's a. Because I think what it was the first three or four books uh, were written by the author, but the last two or three were done by notes by his kids or his son. Gotcha. Not Frank Her no, because I think Frank Herbert died um, before the last part of the series was done. Gotcha. Yeah, Dune, Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune, Heretics of Dune, 
chapter house dune and pretty much the first three books that's all you really need to make a movie on but the first two are yeah dune and dune messiah but I, so i i imagine and not the messiah first one, of doom for for whatever reason the i imagine the first movie will do really well just because people want to go see it regardless right like i oh, yeah. i imagine its numbers will be uh pretty decent just just for hey let's see this to see what's going on yeah it's the first like major like big huge blockbuster of this year pretty much that is, oh yeah uh well everyone wanted like suicide squad suicide squad did pretty decently all right in the theater free yeah, guy it's not, it's not, did all right it's not the same kind of movie no though. no it's it's not that's what it's, i mean like two uh, but, but first of all i fucking loved suicide squad oh i, I was loved hilarious it. <laughs> but it is not in the same like you wouldn't say it's not the same say, ballpark it's not even the same ballpark as like an Avengers movie. It just doesn't have that um, elevated sense of like universe. And this is going to tie into like, you know, five other movies kind of shit. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it's a cool movie in and of itself, but it's not like a franchise feel. You are a rabbit, by the way. You're a rabbit. <laughs> No, you are an actual rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a while to notice too. <laughs> oh, that he had the bunny hat on? No, no, you. Really? No, you're standing on top of the uh on top of the the mailbox. That's that's not me. <laughs> you have been fooled, sir. <laughs> Wait, where where is it? <laughs> that's not you? No. That's fucking hilarious. Let's wait a minute. <laughs> I just <laughs> Where I is it? I couldn't plan that. That's fucking I was like, here's a rabbit. And I, I was like, right, yeah, there is no corner. there is no floating head. That is actually just a rabbit on the mailbox. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, look, look, I was standing I was up on the platform before. Me. <laughs> oh, there you oh, are. There you are. <laughs> No, nope. and then I didn't it's even just a rabbit on a mailbox. Leave. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was so good. Obviously, Jason turned into a rabbit. I've been I've been rolling a one on my perception tonight. It says <laughs> this has not been happening. I'm just like throwing my voice from around the corner. Hey, <laughs> it's me, I'm a rabbit. Look at me. Holy I look shit. away. I see what's going on here. <laughs> I see nothing. Well, that much is obvious. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, you were turned into a rabbit. Of course. Yeah, no. because, you know, now, that, that, that usually happens. Nope, now, just, that, just your average. Is that Waffles pet? No, or I don't have a pet. No. Just one of the random pets around Agartha? Nope. Just is a it, random moved pet. Is it HSSL's pet? <laughs> Like, I've got I'm, the jackalope following me around, but because I don't, I don't know how you even get your pet up there. Yeah, placed. <laughs> that's fucking funny. That is a placed Holy rabbit. Shit. Andy be trolling, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> and or one of the other um, trollers. It just despawned. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> oh, they're on to me. I better they're on. They, they figured it out. Jesus, the cops are here. <laughs> Scram! It's only, You'll only never take me out alive, cop. It was only a five-minute rabbit. I know, the Scatter. That's what's going on. Scatter. <laughs> Who did I see do that bit? Saw a comedian do that bit about like um, about about you know old timey like prohibition and old timey cops. Okay, and, uh, uh, oh, it's back and scatter. <laughs> if the fuzz is here, <laughs> scatter. 
And then, like, if they old timey cops came to like na- to to now time and busted into a bar, and they like then the cop they're reporting back to the chief of police and like, did they scatter? Well, they were already pretty social. They were already distanced like six feet apart. <laughs> so they were already pretty scattered. They were already pretty scattered. <laughs> right. Every other table or something. Yeah. <laughs> it was a it was a funny bit. But I just like that he was doing all the voices, you know. Of of the the, the old timey wise cracky voice. <laughs> oh, that fucking that is that's hilarious. That's hilarious. So you thought I was the rabbit. I didn't see where you went and suddenly I saw a rabbit on top of the mailbox. I was like, yep. No, I 100%. I, I get it. Two and two. Uh, yeah. Made no, four, no. but it didn't. I 100% like see like how you would reach that conclusion yeah. for sure. But it's yeah. just fucking funny. <laughs> it's in my perception. My perception is not high. That's all right. Oh, I was going to say, as far as other things that are uh, going on, uh, Selena's been uploading the Sh- the Shambhala Saturday uh, stuff to YouTube. Oh, okay. Um, at least two so far now that I've seen in the community content. Yeah, I think two. There's one... There's one from 825 and one from yesterday. Say for Shambhala Saturday. Oh, now you're a rabbit too. <laughs> Spoke too well, soon. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, rabbits can't jump. <laughs> no, nope. oh, I can fix that though. I can fix it. I can fix it. Let's see. <laughs> see if I can make it onto the mailbox of the other rabbit. Wait, is he has collision? The hell? It's like knocking me off. Yeah, there's a hitbox around it. Son of a bitch! Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> also, why is he bigger than me? Kind because of you're that. fairly... <laughs> Uh, well, sometimes no, no. some people are a little no. bit bigger than. <laughs> As I say, no, no, you seem you seem the right height. No, 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 at that least, rabbit for the head anyway. No, the rabbit, rabbit seems large. It is, a, it is a large is boy. How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare you? Preventing Wait, us from. Tall, the size king. We were actually secretly breaking something on the other side. Be like, I'm in a different spot on on your screen than I am. And it was like breaking everything. Yeah, look who's big now, bitch. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I use unstoppable force. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wait 40 seconds to try it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I can't like share like the edge of the mailbox though. <gasps> I did it! I did it! No. Nope. Well. Wow. Resync. I did it. I'm on the mailbox. <laughs> and in 15 seconds, I will grow to be a larger rabbit for a few <laughs> seconds. <laughs> nope. You're still off. Maybe I need to go further. <laughs> we need to run away. Run, run away. away. <laughs> run away. Where is thine holy grenade? <laughs> yes, size envy. Size size envy. 100 <laughs> percent Well he Am was I on there now? Yeah, yep. you're on there. Okay. Okay. Alright. So And boom. Yeah. <laughs> about it's about about the same size. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm still a little smaller. Oh, now you're smaller. Uh, just, uh, just a hair smaller. Get it. Uh, 
<laughs> Jimmy was, was on the bottom. Yeah, it's okay though. It's okay. I was on the bottom. Uh, power bottom. Power bottom. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> G- well, it, girthy, girthy rabbit. In other news, my guitar playthrough of the game is finished. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Right, right. What you were saying, uh, right? You went down to went down to no moths because grabbing the peculiar box was something. Yeah, it was expensive. It was it was very expensive. In real money. In real money, it was expensive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, well, someone's got to pay for Andy's drug habits. I cannot touch that amount of money. I don't know what you're expecting from me. but <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. It's not even a down payment. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, no, so, so yeah, I bought the computer box. And uh, yeah, Paul and I bought the box. It was roughly sixty dollars. I spent sixty dollars in Orem, converted it to marks, and bought the box. <laughs> so you guys could see someone beat Tank Commander on a guitar. Oh, on a guitar, I right? Bought the box. Right. the The alternative would basically just be to to try grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding until it happened. Which, who knows? You could just coast a regional run i get like three every run or so yeah i know regionals are a good place to try and get them but i i didn't want to try and well a of the time frames i can do that aren't really conducive and i didn't want to try and do a stream where i'm just like uh, trying to like lead to a regional for a couple hours so that'd be boring so um yeah anyways i bought the box and then i went and did the damn thing Um, so I will say from my experience, I believe at least on guitar, the Smiler mech was significantly harder than the tank commander himself. Okay. On guitar. Mostly because you can't ever stop running when you're fighting the Smiler mech. Uh, there's turrets that line the wall that do like constant circles. Oh and yeah, he does circles, and it's, there's stupid ads, and like basically just running circles on a guitar is not. Uh, my hands hurt after I was done with that boss. Like before I fought Tank Commander, I had to like wring out my hands. Like I was literally like, like nonstop, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like a like a jam band. Song just goes on for like twenty minutes. Well, it's also that it's like the same repetitive action, right? Like when you're playing music, that's not quite normally the case. Mm-hmm. It's a little it's like there's more, it's more change up. It's not like the same two strings for like ten minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> like you usually not, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what music, how other music you're playing, but it's not normally the case. There's a little Hungarian more change up two that. string. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the spoiler mech, I died a lot more times on, and it just was, it was much more difficult. Not the tank, tank commander took two tries, and it was because I had to change the gadget. I went for a cleanse gadget originally, and that just was not quick enough. Uh, because he does the cyber pool, you know, Mm -hmm. and I couldn't really do the pole dance. Like you try and like hide behind the pole while he pulls, but can't get you. On guitar, I couldn't really do that, and so like he would pull, and I would hit the cleanse gadget, and then need to like w- like use the guitar to walk out, and that just wasn't effective enough. So on the second try, I grabbed the backwards teleport. So whenever he pulled me, I would just activate the gadget and teleport out of the pool backwards. Not bad, not bad. And that was much more effective. And I actually ended up just beating him on the second attempt, first attempt with that gadget. Whereas a smiler took like fucking six tries or something. <laughs> and then after 
because that took such little amount of time in my stream. I was like, uh, what do I do now? <laughs> like I was it's like, sorry, I was planning on doing this like all night long. I don't know what else. Yeah, I I yeah. I was I well, I wasn't sure what to expect. I knew it would be a little difficult, but I wasn't sure exactly how many tries or how long it would take. Um so after that, I went to do Dark Agartha just to you know uh, my max level, which was E2 at the time. And ended up getting the I thought this was supposed to be difficult achievement. <laughs> right. Yes, I saw that. On yeah. guitar. That's where you complete I, it within like, uh, on, like at your max difficulty and you complete it within like a certain type period of time, like eight minutes or something. You complete it within your max. You complete it at your max difficulty and have 10 minutes left on the clock. That's what it is. Yeah. So I had over 10 minutes left on the clock when I beat it on guitar, <laughs> which was pr- also I, I died. This was at the supposed end. to be difficult. Yeah, I died at the end because at the very end he cast the uh, circle on the ground. Okay, it does you damage, but he had very little health left. So I just said F it and like stood my ground and smashed him, and he did die. But that circle on the ground doesn't go away right away, so it, it did kill me. But I already like succeeded right it doesn't reset and i got the achievements it's just that i like i i died in the process <laughs> or died technically i died after he died if i died when he died it would have canceled out i was say you he, he died first that's what really matters yeah yeah he actually died first and then i stood there for like two seconds before the <laughs> circle killed me um although it was close man i thought for sure i was gonna die like twice before that I got myself trapped in a tiny ass corner uh, between like the the edge and one of the circles, and then the creeping stuff came in. Oh was, yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> like yeah, yeah. I I legit thought I was gonna die like at, at least two or three times. You must have just really powered through the other bosses just in order to have that I mean, much time I, left. I, I, yeah, well, I did buy the time extender in the beginning. Oh, well, that that helps, yeah. <laughs> it's like five extra minutes, but that's because I legitimately was like, I don't even know if this is possible. Because Dark Agartha is <clears throat> very movement heavy. Yeah, yeah. And I am not on a guitar. Like, I can move or I can hit. I cannot do both. Uh, it doesn't, like, it can't, it can't happen. So, I have to move. And then go to attacking, and then go to moving, which generally means things take longer, right? Um, but yeah, no, it worked out uh, pretty well. I was pretty happy with that. So even that went better than I thought it would. I thought I'd use up all that time. I didn't think I'd have 10 minutes left. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so I think with the time extender, you'd have like 22 minutes. So that means I took like less than 12 minutes to beat all the bosses. That's still pretty good time. It's still pretty good, yeah. Yeah, so I, I was pretty happy with that. Um, and then on the Friday, I decided for at least a little bit to play Overwatch on, on guitar. Holy shit, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got carried to one victory, and then I called it. And I was like, that's it. Not that's it, I'm done. <laughs> Uh, cause, cause that was secret world, you know, it, it's, it's a different style of game trying to oh, play absolutely. FPS on a guitar. is fucking stupid. I was saying <laughs> even secret world compared to other, other games that are more, you know, um, older style where you could actually just stand in place and do 90% of what you need to do. Yeah. I mean, actually like secret world is, is pretty movement heavy. At mm-hmm. least at the higher difficulty or the higher like like Dark Garth like type of content. Like it does actually want you to move. Why is, did that rapper got bigger again? What the shit? It is a uh, it is a self growing rabbit. It eats its carrots. <laughs> yeah, I can only grow like that much. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Uh, it's still like I'm not jealous. Eye. That rabbit is clearly on steroids and growth hormone. It's a roid rabbit. 
It just got bigger. <laughs> it literally just got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer says, I say this as somebody who had the literal worst luck. Um, I, I feel that. I feel that, Farmer. <laughs> I yeah, still have yet so to, tiny compared. <laughs> just keeps getting bigger sure, and bigger. I'm pretty sure I gave Bomber a peculiar box at some point. Because um, I didn't get one. Right. I have yet to see I have yet to see the peculiar box. I have yet to see I have yet to even get a uh, um an agent drop from just doing a mission. Yeah, but you guys also don't I mean both of you don't really play the game as often. Yeah. 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 Like there are people that have put in like significant amount of time and still not gotten one or gotten like one in the span of like a year. Yeah. So I mean, if you're not playing the game like, you know, at least a couple hours every day, like you're you're and it's and also on that, like still doing like the right content. Certain agents only drop from certain areas. Mm -hmm. Certain areas I think have a bigger pool of agents. And then like blue chests in dungeons have better chances. Like I, th oh, I know I've had like them boxes. from I know I've had them from like um, running like a cult defense or something. Like I've I've got a couple from there. Oh, a cult defense drops agents like like crazy. Candy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those things are you can just buy all those in the auction house like stupid cheap. <laughs> Everyone's coming over to see the rabbit now. <laughs> We just we just should start charging for come see the giant rabbit. Said I came to see rabbits bang. We're not banging, okay? <laughs> it's called making love. <laughs> that is what rabbits do. Yeah, are we it's gonna called, see a whole bunch of rabbits now? It's called making baby rabbits. We can see rabbits everywhere. <laughs> Just all of a sudden, every every creature that passes by in Agartha are just all rabbits. The um, all the custodians become rabbits. Oh wait, I can do I can do a second. Do I can do that? Ha ha! <laughs> oh look, it's so cute. They're mating. <laughs> Those rabbits are fighting. No. <laughs> no, they are. They're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> See what I say? More rabbits. Rabbits everywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> they multiply. That's what happens. This is true. <laughs> um, and I've started playing Secret World on a treadmill. So there's that. Right, right, yes. You you, yes. you had to get it. You, you had to buy a new treadmill. I did have to buy a new treadmill. I killed the other one on the last uh, drunk Secret World treadmill stream. <laughs> <laughs> and it did not survive. I fell off that treadmill twice, but I was fine. The treadmill was not. The treadmill uh, had that one had to be thrown away. <laughs> uh, but yeah. No, I've been playing Secret World on, on a treadmill, uh, which has been pretty pretty cool. Um, trying to get my exercise in at the same time as uh, as my gaming. So, I'd say why not? Been, why not? Been working pretty well. I I have I have run something like seventeen miles this week, which is which, pretty fantastic. Compared to the zero miles I ran, like in <laughs> the last fifteen years combined, <laughs> um, like, and then I'm gonna, I should be running more tomorrow. And that'll be the end of the running for the week, and then I'll be running again on Sunday. I, I'm gonna, I think I'll probably top. I should top out like over twenty miles for this week, which is kind of nuts. To go from like running like not at all to like twenty miles in a week, like that's that's a significant amount of uh, coverage. That's some good mileage, yeah. I'm gonna try not to do what I did the other night though, and run really fast while trying to do a scenario. That that <laughs> is that I mean, where your your with... brain just suddenly turns around and is uh. What's your uh, a... margarita per uh, per mile? <laughs> 
Well, okay, so historically, because I've been doing that for literally like a decade. Uh, <laughs> Margarita Mile I've been doing for forever. And it literally was a, a picture of Margarita per mile. Like that's that was how it – like I used to run a solid mile, and I mean run while drinking a pitcher. And the goal was to like finish the pitcher in the mile at like roughly the same time. Which is when we moved out here, because I did that shit even back in California. When we moved out here, my wife found there was like a one of those like uh, marathon things you could sign up for. And it was oh, yeah. the, Mar- the Margarita Madness like 5K. Mm-hmm. And, and she was like, um, you should probably do this. Because <laughs> you've been training for this your whole life, <laughs> <laughs> be like this is gonna be like water to you. Because I used to literally like on a on like a Friday night with like friends over and everything, the treadmill would be in the living room, and I would just be like, "Let's do more and mile," <laughs> and I would just hop on the treadmill and like run a mile while drinking a pitcher, and everyone else is like, "What the shit are you doing?" <laughs> I think one person. One or two people might have tried it like once or twice, but most people don't do exercise while drinking. No. I, on the other hand, <laughs> it's not I used to play. Yeah. I used to play. Not uh, usually. You know, the Xbox Connect? Right. Like it comes with some default, like a default uh, arcade games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and one of them has you like, your character's like on a, on a, like a track, essentially. And like there's stuff on the like coins and stuff on the sides and and like you have to you have to duck and jump and and dodge side to side to both not get hit and also collect coins. And I used to like do that for shots of vodka, and the thing was like you would take a shot like both players would take a shot of vodka and then go and then you jump you're like jumping in place and like dodging left and right and ducking. For like a couple of minutes straight, and by the end of it, you fucking can't breathe. You're just like, ah, ah. and then the loser <laughs> had to do, the loser had to do like three shots of vodka, and then we play again. Because <laughs> I I like I I don't know I've always liked drinking and being like super physical, like trying trying to like <clears throat> walk a balance beam or play the floor is lava, and just jump from thing to thing. <laughs> drinking and drinking and working out. Yeah, no, I love it. It's 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 like I like I would be like, let's race, let's foot race. <laughs> we'll do shots and then race and then loser takes more shots. And half the time, if like I'd have rarely ever lost that shit, by the way. But I I would want to drink, so I would just do them with the loser. <laughs> He'd be like, "You lost. Here's your shot." Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, There, I remember one time because one, one of my friends was whole like, point of drinking games is to drink, even yeah. if you're winning. I never, I never really, I never really fully understood that. That right? It's like, oh, we're gonna play a drinking game. So if you win, you don't drink, and it's like, but this is the point of playing. <laughs> so like, why am I here? Yeah, my my friend would be was all about that. So he was like, "How about we play for five shots?" Loser takes five shots. And I was like, okay. And so then we like we play and I win. And then I'm like, I want to do shots too. So we lined up 10 shots and like a picture of just this like long ass line of shots. And he did five and I did five. Cause I I want I I didn't I didn't want to not drink. Right, yeah. You're like, oh, I won and I'm not drinking now. Fantastic. I I would do beat saber shots if I had a VR setup and I had beat saber for sure. As I said, playing drinking games at Jimmy's stream is great. That's true. You can pl- you can uh, just like whenever I, on Overwatch, especially like whenever I die. You can just... Although you actually probably would just get really really messed up. You can just wait till I do something dumb. That works. That'll happen. <laughs> like me doing something dumb happens slightly <laughs> less often than me dying. Yeah, you don't want to go to the hospital <laughs> with alcohol poisoning. And doing something dumb is pretty subjective. So. So whatever you, whatever you, whatever you want to say is dumb. That's what's dumb. Oh no! Sometimes the dumb is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> when I'm playing a character that like slams into the ground, breaks underneath him, and then just falls in and dies, like just 
<laughs> or like I just like roll off the edge of a map. Like that's just dumb. <laughs> There's no like excusing that or getting around there like well, that that was that was funny and really stupid. I don't you know what I will say though is I don't heck I don't usually like have any problems in Secret World. I've been playing Secret World so long. I have played this game on like no sleep and drunk and like passing in and out and still like manage like tank a dungeon <clears> like being half conscious. Like like the like the entire game is just one big uh muscle memory. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. I I I think last week, if I recall, I I like summoned a mega boss at like four in the morning or something when I was drunk. Like I finished all my Overwatch drinking and other FPS games, and I was mm -hmm. like, "Let's go do single world before I go to bed." <laughs> and I like, went in there and like summoned a mega boss and was tanking it like. At some stupid hour, I literally put in the chat like drunk summoning megabots. <laughs> and uh, yeah, people showed up and I tanked it. I, I'm pretty sure I didn't die or anything. Oh, yeah, I just remembered now it was Poland that was in the scenario with me. Poland's the one where I was in the scenario and was running on the treadmill and nearly fell off like five times. <clears throat> uh <clears throat> I was like, but you started up again, right, with uh <laughs> with treadmill. And yeah. you said you even had to you got you you made it a whole big setup now too. So you got like uh like you went to Home Depot, you got yourself like a Yep a yep. shelf. I, I got a shelf. I need a new shelf or a higher shelf because what on Sega World, I can use a controller most of the time. But when I do use a mouse and keyboard, it's just like for inventory management. It's not so bad. But like, my arms are like like down when I'm uh, playing other stuff, mm -hmm. or if I have to use a mouse and keyboard for a long time, my arms are down too far, and so like my my wrist is bent and it starts cutting off. Like oh, my yeah, hands yeah, started yeah. to go numb. Totally. When I was playing an FPS, my hand literally started to go numb, and I could feel every single one of my knuckles. Every single one felt like it was, like, bursting or like wanted to burst. Like I felt, I felt circles of pain. <laughs> Every single one I was like, Jesus, this hurts. Did I stop playing? No, but it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, I need to finish this level, but, <laughs> but yeah, I need, I need to like adjust the. Uh, or not adjust it, but I need I need like a I don't know something. I need something to raise it up a little bit, so the angle is not quite so steep. It's a shim. I mean, it needs to be like a shim like this. Much, but okay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty big shim. Yeah, <laughs> it's, that's it's, it's a whole block. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it huge. depends on what size that you're talking about. Yeah, what, what is I mean, what is the definition of a shim anyway? It can, I think it can be. That's like a shim for like a giant, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> be like, yeah, I just need a foot tall shim. That's all. I just need to shim the size of a person, you know. <laughs> that sounds very concerning to me. I mean, if it was mild, I would go with mildly concerning. I only partially lost feeling in one of my hands. I mean, I have, you know, I've had, uh, um, yeah, like wrist issues for a long time now. It's like, yeah, it happens. Yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't the, I mean, the wrist wasn't the problem, except I think that it was bent with pressure. Yeah. So it just <laughs> that, cut that'll off. That'll do something, yeah. It just cut off circulation a bit, you know? But uh, I'll get it figured out. I'll, I'll get it figured out. Because the plan is, for the foreseeable future, if I'm streaming, it's going to be on a treadmill. Okay. No matter what I'm streaming. If I'm streaming, it's going to be on a treadmill. Carpal tunnel syndrome? Mm, quite possible. I mean, 
It'd be weird if it's only carpal tunnel when you're at a certain angle, though. As a carp carpal tunnel is more nerve ending than it is blood circulation. <laughs> what is Poland doing? Poland, what are you doing to the bunnies? You can't. Try to That's just unnatural. Bunnies. No. This is a family show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> For what family? <laughs> is this the, the Adams family? The, the family show? who see no, the worlds together. Dom, Dominic. <laughs> We're family. <laughs> Poland said I'm riding the bunny. Yeehaw. <laughs> At least he wasn't has to do. doing the uh, what is it the <laughs> the one where it looks like they're they're just washing each other. Oh, the graffiti. Yes. <laughs> it has to do with an inflamed tendon band around the wrist, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that that rabbit head is going into that rabbit other rabbit's orifices. I see what happens when two. Bunny rabbits like each other. Really good. <laughs> well. Leave well. <laughs> I was like, yes, exactly, uh, Azrael. The the carpal tunnel. That's the <laughs> that is the tunnel is right, the, the tendon band. It is a it is a wrist tunnel. <laughs> Something somebody, you don't see every some, day. Yeah, someone needs a screenshot and Bomber saying, get out of that bunny butt. <laughs> that's that's pretty great. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that up for... <laughs> Forever. Well, we'll have one of those, like, quote things. Give me a random quote. <laughs> Bomber. Get out, Get that out of that butt. bunny butt. <laughs> <laughs> Never have truer words been spoken. Oh, hold on. There we go. That's the theme of tonight's broadcast. I mean, it could be. <laughs> yeah, graffiti is not fully working, but you know, it's so creepy. It's the creepiest emote. Right. <laughs> it's petting. It's just some mild, <laughs> mild to heavy petting. It's totally. I feel like fine. I need to get closer. Who's a good bunny? Who's good bunnies? <laughs> a caress. A caress. <laughs> that is a caress. Aren't I supposed to be graffitiing the bunnies? Isn't this what this is uh, supposed to be? Damn it, Moobot doesn't have a quote thing on it. <laughs> it doesn't? It no, I'm not seeing it bot. on Moobot. We'll have to set up on like I know Nightbot has one. I don't know what happened there. I got like trapped over here. Trapped it trapped in the hitbox. Oh no, I just got trapped in between the, the bunnies on the ground. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> They're all hit detection bunnies. Like, why can't I jump through them? Poland says you don't want to know where that hand goes on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped Science. in the bunny circle. Can't get out. Well, speaking of circles, that's right. We do have an event should be upcoming. Uh, because as now we... that's a segue. There you go. I finally wow. got a good one for one. Professional. <laughs> Uh, 
Occult events should be up and going soon with the Envoys of Avalon coming back in for the Equinox, which is going to be approaching first day of fall. Um, September 22nd is the first day of fall, so it should be around there. It should be around there where the... Uh, the Envoy... Envoys of Avalon should be making a return. Radio, radio. <laughs> Speaking of circles, what? What? I say so, yeah. So that'll be later this month. <laughs> it's right. And you know where you can check for all information on the event? Hmm? Hmm? Do is you? It, is it? Hold on, let me think. Let me, I, don't I tell know. me. Don't tell me. Hotels.com. Is, is it Crygaia? No. <laughs> well, maybe, but no. That's not the one um, we like. Um, Un unfair? Unfair.com? <laughs> and it's, uh, it's BD. That's, it's close. WST. <laughs> BD Wait, dot B R U B D W S R T <laughs> What? <laughs> what site are you going? <laughs> That's just T S W D B backwards is what that was. <laughs> then where was the R from? <laughs> I never like saying dot com. I always like saying like dot edu or that that one that one I said was dot ru which I believe is Russia. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you just said like some Russian bunny porn site or something. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go to <laughs> dbwst dot ru. You, you said like bd dbwsrt dot <laughs> com. No, it was bd dot B ru. Oh, bd. It's gonna get I put think. on some list. Yeah, the B was first. B D W S R T B D. Dot R U. Don't forget the dot R U. Right, right, because it's T S W D B, so it would be B D. Yeah. 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 Uh, R U or com. Dot. <laughs> I said dot, dot R U. -U. <laughs> Plus. No. Nope. Making, making waffle. Go to Russian websites. <laughs> Hold on, I need to go. I need to go buy a domain name from Russia. <laughs> It doesn't cover. exist. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Hover.com. Let's see here. Just have it link right to um TSWDB. That's all. Oh no, I I would do something far worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me get like, that. We hear you like bunnies. You actually just set it up like an old school GeoCities webpage. I had one of those. Who did I it? was even in. Um, oh, they don't offer what, RU domains. What, what was no, it called in don't. GeoCities? <laughs> What's that? What was it called in GeoCities when you had like the that like, circle of websites you'd be part of? Was it like your oh, neighborhood or something? Or WebRing. WebRing. Web Ring, that's what it was. Yes. I had a GeoCities website and a WebRing. <laughs> I, I, old school, I remember that shit. I could make an under construction page as good as the next guy <laughs> <laughs> with the animated. Under what, did, what did I just find? And Didn't the, the other marquee? week, I found like it's the. Oh, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna find it. I linked to it on uh, on my Twitter. It was the. Um... Ooh, I don't know what site I went to. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Waffle clicked on something. No, I went to the uh, the .dot com version, and it's a in Japanese. Oh, yeah, like it's just a uh, a table. That's all it is. Like uh, an actual form table. Be like you weren't supposed to get here without some other link in between. But now that you're here, uh, yes, here it is. I am. I am gonna post this one. I found. <laughs> <laughs> can i post i should be able to oh no that's not right don't do that 
Went to, post, oh, no. went to post that to a, to a site and it came up as a t.co and I'm like no 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 don't do that don't do that that's disgusting you want to go to gifcities.org which is a searchable cert, it's a search engine for all of the animated gifs from GeoCities websites it is a special project of the internet archive I can buy that domain for 15 bucks <laughs> what the dot are you or the com <laughs> the dot com the, no no the dot are you the dot are you um, oh no the, yeah i couldn't get through hover the, because they don't offer are used <laughs> yeah i went searching for where i could get dot uh, dot are used bdwst dot are you i can get it <laughs> this is this have, isn't like some tv show where if you mention a website they have to buy it and, and have a forward to ds tswdp right <laughs> Sorry, Bomber. <laughs> Bomber suddenly gets like a thousand percent traffic from Russia. <laughs> what is Excuse this? Excuse me. What is this BDWST website? Have you seen it? In Russia, domain searches you. It's all advertising dollars, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's free advertising. <laughs> it's free real estate. <laughs> you yeah, you break it open into a no, new country. Next would be China. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly taking over the world. <laughs> with with <laughs> backwards. <laughs> backwards TSW DB websites. <laughs> Like, and what is the original website for? I don't know, but it's got uh, Illuminati symbols all over it. <laughs> Those NSA servers are starting to spin up now. <laughs> That's right. Goes pretty in depth about the Illuminati. What website is this? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Illuminati confirmed. No, dragon. <laughs> dragon. Templar and Illuminati. So that's like I've got, you know, um, I've got, you know, of course, still so you just have the swag from Secret World around and, you know, got like the uh, like the Illuminati pin and whatnot, which I am afraid to wear anywhere these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get some random person. I, too, believe. Right. Yeah, I'll be like, uh... <laughs> Templar dragon, maybe like no. You, you get some uh, screed like guy coming up towards. You. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'd be like, "I knew another fellow believer was out there." I know, they know, you know. <laughs> and I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> Can't find. What? what the hell is my so, login? Someone today? in general said either I picked an interesting time to log in or the drugs have finally taken effect. <laughs> How about both? Yeah. <laughs> Why not both? Ta da. Okay. Like, seriously, where the hell? <laughs> You're going through with the. <laughs> Are you buying it? <laughs> Jimmy. I'm trying to just log into my account. Oh, uh, that's fair. And then what I do is none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> but I just... Oh, here we go. I can't find my... I could not find my customer number anywhere. You're like, I just want to see. Just want to see. Just want to see what the price... I just want to see what the, the good rates are for good Russian that's, websites. That's not bad. 15 bucks. No, the next well, question I, got, is, I gotta I gotta renew one of my domains anyways. Does it come with a who is privacy? I don't know. <laughs> I think they come with they come with they come with basic anyways. Why was that not on auto renew? What the hell? Alright, well it's on auto renew now. 
All right, so. <laughs> so you see the mascot of the game has changed. It was bees. Now it's rabbits. That's that's the way it goes. That's right. That's what they're doing so for this year. Don't you forget it. Why do I need a passport to register an RU? <laughs> what the hell? That's bullshit. <laughs> Maybe you might need to be a Russian citizen. You also to need buy... to have somebody visit your house and threaten you for a while. See, I know a guy. He likes to go uh, riding on horseback. He plays with bears. Bees. What are you doing? What are you doing, bees? Oh, oh, we got a a bee humeth. Well, it wouldn't be that big. It's just a really just a bee at this point. <laughs> <laughs> There's there really is no hemeth about that bee. Well, to an ant, it is. <laughs> now, do, does I guess Agartha have ants? I don't think hmm. so. It's no longer baby one's power. <laughs> Bam. I'm afraid of what you're bamming. Oh, I just made my character grow and then oh, okay. turn the thing on. <laughs> <laughs> just just buying Russian websites and having them redirect to American. Oh yeah, that's no Secret red flags world or websites. anything. Yeah, right. it's the ultimate. Um, <laughs> uh, ultimate ARG. Just buy random websites and just have them point to <laughs> secret world properties. Just just so people can come across them very randomly. See up there all bees. I gotta I have to stand up. I need to Give that space to the to the bee that should be there. <laughs> Do you want a headstand? <laughs> <laughs> it's like worshiping, just a little little different. Oh, our little babies have grown. <laughs> Except for yours, yours is the runt. I saw, uh, saw Poland jump on top of one of them. Can we, can we jump on top of them? I think, yeah, because the hitboxes just push you off. You think so? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yours. <laughs> my arctic hair but it's not going to follow me around it's going to point in whatever direction i am <laughs> all 
I run over here, and it's not gonna follow. But if I get close enough, it's just gonna spin in my direction. Now why can't we have that as a pet? I love how it just immediately is facing the direction. No turn, just right. Only instantaneous staring. Oh. It moves. Oh. Oh, it got stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. It got, oh, no, stuck. No, no, there oh, we go. No, no, there it goes. <laughs> There's magic happening behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Magic! <laughs> I don't know if I, get, if I get too far away. Doesn't like me getting too far away. I need to... Yeah, it gets lost. It, it has... You know... Apparently distances. I can't... I can't buy a Russian domain without a passport. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's just being messed with. <laughs> God damn it. Yes, yes, see, see, this is the pet that we need. Next anniversary, this pet. A mini behemoth? <laughs> A mini behemoth following you around. <laughs> this is the pet that we need. Walmart, that's right. It's a baby. <laughs> it might it might need to move. So <laughs> a little more. You don't want to make a good pet? Consistently. <laughs> you want to make a really cool pet? Hmm. The baby dinosaurs. Yes. Yes. Right? From from uh Chubb whatever. Mm-hmm. The 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 Dinosaur you fight, mm -hmm. it breaks apart. The little uh, ones, like the the filth dinosaur, yeah, yeah. The little baby ones would make awesome pets. I don't know. Like I like I said, I think I think uh, one of the other ones we had, uh, or one of the other episodes we had, <clears throat> is that I was uh, playing uh, in Guild Wars, Guild Wars Two specifically, um, and Guild Wars One, and the first Guild Wars, but. Uh, they have pets for literally everything. Like almost every NPC in the game has a has a miniature pet that can follow you around. Um, every creature in the game has a miniature that follows you around. Like every everything is made into a pet. And I think like yes, like how cute is this? How cute is this? Next is be uh, turning it into a mount. <laughs> be even <-beef> mount. <laughs> Why not? Well, you can ride around on it. Just ride around on it. Has yeah. a little saddle and everything. <laughs> Funcom, we're giving you some ideas here. I know you're listening. Wrap two baby dinosaurs to your feet, skate along, <laughs> <laughs> like gravity skates, but better. But, but dinosaurs, and it leaves the uh, the leaf the leaf trails. The right, the, the custodian pinata as a pet as well. Yes. Also, I think just large size pets would be neat. You know? I can see people trying to like 
troll with larger size pets, but I don't think it's that big of a problem. Like, if, <laughs> if you actually had, like, yeah, like the giant dinosaur following you around or something. I mean, not, like, that big, but I mean, just bigger than, like, than, like, the minis, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you have a, a little, you have a doggo pet that's, like, you know, size of a of a miniature horse. It's just like, right, yeah. It's like this is a big dog, <laughs> or a bunny, or one of the cats that's like now the size of a goddamn leopard or something. I did not say taco pet. <laughs> no one said taco pet. That's another good idea. It's not a good idea. It's a dumb idea. <laughs> no ideas are dumb. We're putting no. that on the top of the list. Some ideas are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> a little taco pet that follows you around leaves a little trail of lettuce. Well, because it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It would be like the the bears or something. Just be a taco sitting on the ground, and then when you leave, it falls over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny as hell. <laughs> <It's just laughs> <awesome. It's> the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna sit with my cute pet now. <laughs> now I want the taco. <laughs> well, they have the taco hat, right? So you can yeah, just make he... the taco hat into. No, it's an actual taco. Like we said, no, he just it, wants it's a taco. Just, like, just an actual. It just sits there, but then when you leave, it'll fall over. <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant or it just flop around like it would just no no it'd be like the bear it'd be like the stuffed bears are just stupid <laughs> but when you leave fall over. when you leave the taco falls but over falling over taco is way more funny than the falling over bear <laughs> farmer says that's magikarp hi <laughs> scooter and still the rewards are not claimed it is it is a classic yes waffle mm -hmm. likes to troll the holy shit out of us he decided to point away from me It likes Poland. There's the bear. <laughs> there is a bear. Oh, but is it the bear that interacts with other bears? Is it the heart one or is it the heart bear? One? Well, not just any. It would any pet, any pet, not just not just a. Other bears. Izzy Berenstein. I think it's too far away. Can it face me again? No, just no. Okay. <laughs> just no. Just, just no. Just no. It's not gonna. Oh, there's hearts. Oh, there it goes. I saw hearts. I saw hearts go over to the Arctic hair. That's. So, what is the next milestone in the secret world? Uh, the Equinox. Equinox is the next event. Is that what you mean? Oh no! It's it's, it's just now turned around. It's always pointing its butt at me. Oh wait! wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the next the next thing should be it should be this month sometime, right? End of this month. It should be. Um, well, considering that the equinox is on the twenty second, it'll probably be around that time. Yeah, it should be. It should be. It's usually sometimes they're sometimes around the actual equinox. So 
So I would say, let's see, the Equinox this year falls on a Wednesday. So that's a hard day. Um, so I would say maybe the 21st. Maybe. 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 Maybe the 16th. One of those days. Of course, was it uh, the last event? Um, we were like, oh, it'll probably start on a Tuesday or a Thursday. And they just released it on like a Friday at like. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the shit? <laughs> I think that was on purpose. <laughs> That was that was on purpose. That was like I see your guessing of the schedule, and fuck your guessing of the schedule. <laughs> That's what that was. It's like, oh, you have a spreadsheet of all of our schedules, right? Right. Be like, events. oh, you think you've got us yeah. pegged, huh? We're gonna release it on a Friday right before we leave. Be like, that's <laughs> that's, that's a terrible Screw idea. You. <laughs> yeah, exactly, clean. <laughs> we were like, it was gonna be another uh, another Valentine's Day massacre all over again. Yes, Scooter, of course. Will Equinox Equinox give free daily reward stuff? Waffle won't get. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> well, was it one of them does and the other one doesn't or something? One of them has a daily uh, login, the other was, one does not. No, 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 it was it was a mistake because oh. the daily login also didn't work on a different event as well. They just didn't turn it like so. The login rewards were broken when the Equinox happened. They kind of like were like meh, but then the next event I think was Halloween. And they like had to fix it. So okay, I just think of something. It was something like that. Like, <clears throat> so it, was it supposed is supposed to, to be there, rewards. basically. It's, yeah, they're supposed to. At least that's that's what I remember uh, being told was like they're supposed to be there. The rewards were just broken, in general, period, and they just didn't get fixed. But then when <laughs> Halloween came around, that was not one that you could like fuck with. Halloween was like <clears throat> Halloween was something you you had to do. <laughs> um, yes no obviously the bunny no, I'm, I'm laughing because the uh the giant bunny that guys, was on top of you has now fallen over guys the bunny's dead yeah <laughs> oh no well I it's generated... been up it's been up there for about an hour and a half so it, it it's been doing <laughs> doing <laughs> not only is it not only is it dead it's it's uh it's corpse is hanging around i it's, uh, uh... <laughs> i generated too much power from the bottom Oh, it's, a and, it's probably uh, just tired. Yeah, it's taking it a workout. It just it just couldn't it just couldn't hang. Boom! Look at that. <laughs> it's like claiming dominance over there. <laughs> Who's taller now? persistently dead yeah that is that actually is like an andy signature is to leave just persistently dead things <laughs> in an instance and like i remember i remember people going to kingsmith and there was like a giant dead metal attack just like corpse <laughs> like down like the first street yes and then people were like brand new people to the game were like what the fuck is yeah, this what the heck is this <laughs> What, why, like, no why, is there, why is there a giant vending machine? A two-story <laughs> vending machine just hanging out. I think that didn't... I don't think that hung around because it didn't die. But the metal tat <laughs> died and didn't get removed. And literally, it was there for sure, like, the next day. What was funny is, like, when you would load in, sometimes, like, the de like the game, like, knows it's dead, but on your client will, like, decide the dead position. Right. So, like, one time I zoned in, it was, like, face up, and then I, like, left and came back later, and it was face down. Like, okay. Like, it'll, the rendering of its dead position sometimes changes just from you, like, leaving and coming back or whatever. Um. So, it must just record that, like, this entity is dead, and then show you, like, the dead frame, but the orientation, I think, can flip. 
Oh, you're back to normal. No. But am I? <laughs> am I really? Is my size is my size the same? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's go find the spot where I can test my height. <laughs> this is the spot where you can make sure whether yeah. you're the right height. Oh yeah. Um <laughs> I, I just remember I forget what it was I forget what it was after, but right, one time you were like, No, this is how I check to make sure I'm this height and we, we went to that spot and you did it and you're like, I can't I can't actually do it. I can't wait, did they change my height? It. <laughs> and instead of making you whatever the, the max height is for a character, they had actually changed your height to like something yeah. else. Yeah. Whenever they change me to something else, there's always a chance that that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, it might have happened again. Because I should be able to just jump in here and get stuck. And I'm not. Damn it. <laughs> always. Yeah, always. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the right height, I'm pretty sure. It's usually pretty pretty immediate. Like it's it's crazy how specific it is. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the right height. I am one hundred percent not the right height. If I find Where is it? It's up in the it's up in like the uh the restaurant area. Yeah, it's like just Poland, to the like you're just a to female the right. character, you can get stuck there anyways. Mm -hmm. Either that or they just fix the spot. No. Make sure everyone gets <laughs> no, <be> stuck. <laughs> like I'm I'm decently tall. It's not that I'm not tall. I don't think I'm the right height. No, no, no. Like, Vollmer, I remember you said that the other night or something, but, like, and maybe that happened, but you only have to be max height male to get stuck here. Like, that's, that's the, like... But the max height female is is smaller, so like you you won't you literally can't get stuck here because a, a max height female character is still smaller than a max height male character. I was say waffle go uh um see if you can yeah you know, go find the spot that he's talking about. It should be upstairs isn't, in the the other yeah, restaurant. Isn't, isn't waffle a female character? Yeah. Yes. So he wouldn't be able to get stuck there. Right. But he could see you also no. not getting stuck there. <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> Whereas I'm my character's not max height, so it wouldn't work for me anyway. Oh, it's not? No. It's like right right here. I should be getting stuck. And I'm not. Oh, I get no. I got stuck. Okay, that took a long time. Now I'm stuck. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it is okay, or it's just really close. You don't look stuck. No, I don't think you're stuck. Hold on. If you were stuck, you wouldn't be able to get out. Hence, stuck. You can't run out. That's, I mean, stuck. Like, I mean, stuck, stuck. 
So how do you normally get out of that stuck then? Just uh... we slash reset. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> standard methods or every time. Gotta yeah, contact. unstoppable force will get out. Well, unstoppable force changes your height. Did you use yeah. unstoppable force to get stuck, falling? <laughs> it could happen. But yes, we need we need this mini behemoth as a pet next year. Ha! Make it happen. That's funny. So as a female character, no, no. The point the point isn't to to get stuck while using a of force. The point is that this this the whole point is this spot is discriminatory. <laughs> that like without without using abilities, like a, a max height female character can't get stuck. Because for whatever reason, like, you have to be taller for it to get you stuck. I'm not salty because I lost. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> it's a competition <laughs> now. I didn't I didn't lose. I got stuck as well. It's, it's whoever can get stuck the most. It's no, me no, to no. get stuck, so. Yeah, I got stuck. I've been stuck here probably more than anyone else. Because the only people... That I know of that really messed with this were me and Shoddy. And he hasn't played the game in a long time. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm one of the few people that comes over here and does this dumb shit. Yes. <laughs> What's weird is I'm usually I can get stuck a lot easier. Don't make me don't make me do that, Armored Scooter. I will find a way to um so superimpose this baby bee onto a uh, Mandalorian. Yeah, I should be. I should be getting stuck a lot easier. I guess I've like one so far. Normally, I can just jump right in, and it's like I'm insta stuck. I can't just jump up and down like this either. I should be hitting my head and not able to jump. So so maybe it's close. Head. It's close, but not. I still think my height's a little off, yeah, because it's usually not that difficult to get stuck here. Oh, there we go. I got it. So, Poland, if you can get stuck without using abilities, let me know. <laughs> also, I have seen very rarely unstuck work from here, or like, you know, the stuck command. Mm-hmm. Um, it's worked before, <laughs> but when it does work, it's kind of funny because it just shoots you off to the side. You're just in a window. Yeah, it, it like it it yeets you pretty hard. My kid was approved, by the way, of that of that word. Yeets. Or, he likes to say. Likes to yeet things across the house. Of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna yeet this at you. <laughs> oh man, the other day I stepped out in the hall, like stepped out of the kitchen into the living room, like right in front of the hallway, just in time to get smacked in the gut with a ball. <laughs> like he was throwing a ball for the puppy down the hallway, like for the puppy to chase. And he's mm -hmm. all huh, the right as I step out, I'm like whack. Like, that God one wasn't even intended. Yeah. No, but he was super oh. happy about it. <laughs> so the next day, the next day, he's waiting. He hears me come upstairs. And he's waiting in the hallway of the ball, like, trying to time it. They followed you, Jimmy. Uh-oh. This is Yeah, this is my secret spot. As <laughs> <laughs> uh, secret as it can be now. But yeah, also if you're a, if you're a lower height male, it doesn't work. Like you're like mid height or something. Like it, it's your height does something interacting with this weird curvature of a Gartha branch, and it like causes you to get stuck. Six inches lower, and that would have been dramatic. 
No, Scooter. My kids hit me in the nuts like once a day. <laughs> and one of them, I swear to God, is just a, has a fucking like perma lock. It's you true. Know, like, Have kids, you get hit in the nuts. It's, it's, stay, it's on target, stay on target. Stay on target. I have like he'll he'll like headbutt me, knee me, elbow me, body slam. Like it's just what it's just a thing. Just forget about those. Those, those are those are gone now. <laughs> How did you find this spot? No, no, actually, I think uh, I think uh, uh, Headshotty found this. Like when the the like first day of the game launched, basically. I think literally like day one, we were just messing around, like running around, and he got stuck. And then I came and got stuck. And then Tipsu came and couldn't get stuck. And we like, you know, figured out through some some research and process of elimination that like. Essentially, it has to do with the height of your character. Because we both made max height male characters. Like, it went on alts and stuff. And, like, if you're lower height than that, it doesn't get you stuck here. I wasn't trying to fall through geometry. You're not trying to fall through. Using it as a measure. Yeah, the first day, like first day of launch, you're just dicking around. <laughs> Found it immediately. <laughs> yeah, we're just running around up here. I mean, think about it. Like if you're if you're running around up here, looking around, there's this like you know counter with the lady. And there's all these chairs. If you just jump over this direction, mm -hmm. have you know what I mean? Like you just hit the spot by accident. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know if I can stand in a window. I don't... Let's see. Oh, I can do this to get out. I'm probably too tall to stand in a window, I'm guessing. Maybe not. No, I can stand in a window. Ha! Ha! Everything you can do, I can do better. I can do everything better than you. <laughs> or as Tosh Pono would say, nan nan doo doo, stick your head in doo doo. <laughs> fair. That's fair. What about jumping? It just makes you bonk your head. I'm sorry. Now, now I'm actually looking through. Uh, uh, Mandalorian pictures to find a good one that I can <laughs> attempt to Photoshop. <laughs> and it won't be a good Photoshop, but it will be a Photoshop. I can't get the timing of it. Timing of this is so much harder than I remember. It could just be my sprint speed, actually, now I think about it. Cause we I don't we didn't have sprint six we had like maybe sprint four or something sprint three or four maybe it's possible it's possible so well I might be like overshooting the spot or something Why? Yeah, this was. I feel like I feel like my height might still not be quite right because this was a lot easier to do. 
it wasn't I wouldn't like fail like 15 times or something before getting stuck it's pretty much like instantaneous oh I had it for a second there it started to get stuck and then it glitched itself back <laughs> Basically, what we're complaining about is that you are not getting stuck. Yeah. Well, obviously. It means your height has changed, but... Yeah, yeah, because it was pretty... Like, I need to get stuck. Pretty here. crazy consistent before. Yeah. Yeah, Poland's cheating and using unstoppable force to try and get stuck. But you can also use to get out of it, because it changes your height. Ah, that should be enough Mandalorian pictures. You're not stuck on my screen. Colin. Get one where he's holding the cradle orb thing. Oh, you're you're moving around fine. So I don't see one that he's holding the orb thing. The orb thing's following next to him. Well, you have to get stuck without using unstoppable force. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, this is this is super annoying. Yeah, you're not stuck, Poland. I don't think you understand the definition of the word stuck. You can't get out. You're stuck. It's the whole point of being stuck. I mean, you have to, if, besides just getting out, instead of just using your regular movements. Like, if you, jump, if you can jump backwards, you're not stuck. But you're stuck while on double force is running. That's not the same thing. Jesus. <laughs> Cheese and rice. <laughs> Time limit <and> stuckness. <laughs> no, it's called bullshit. Is the what phantom, is. phantom killer. It's gonna get you for stuckness. Phantasmal killer. Phantasmal killer. Yeah. <laughs> What I don't know why they shit, just say man. aggro timer instead of just calling it. There we go. Now I'm now I'm stuck. Yeah, no amount of I can't dodge. I can't do can't do anything. Uh Waffle. If you yep. like run away and come back, you should see me like stuck in the wall, like vibrating and shit. So that's what they're calling it nowadays? Mm-hmm. Vibrating shit, yeah. Isn't that what everyone calls it? Hmm. But what's funny is like when Shadi and I would do this together, like your character models would get stuck together and like vibrate in and out of each other. <laughs> You'd be like, Whoa. that's usual the process. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's weird. <laughs> that's, I mean, I'm vibrating, but not like that. <laughs> what is that? It's leg day. It's just, well, yeah, it's just showing me like pop up and down. But like, Roland is uh, floating like a couple feet off to the chair. <laughs> yeah, there's some nice chair bugs. That's so weird. Like, all right, I work on that. 
for one, I'm up above, like on top. I'm on top of the second potted plant. All right, farmer, let's okay. go join them. The bee That's should actually follow me, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. Let me, uh, come on, come on. No, oh, wait, 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 there it goes. Here, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in Discord so you can see. Yeah, it's following. It is indeed following. You're about. Yeah, you're anyway. on the uh, <laughs> second one. Much bigger yeah. one up here. Like that's where I'm stuck, and I'm just kind of vibrating in place. But can somehow I... you see me on the ground, and just constantly dipping over. <laughs> but I don't even think you can do that animation in the game on purpose. No, what animation is that? I mean, it's this. I think it's like uh, when you jump up in the air, like you, your body <laughs> curls together, except that I'm on the ground. It's a, <laughs> such baby. <laughs> it's such a baby bee. <laughs> it's a landing one. Oh, from like a long drop. No, but that, really? It doesn't look like the superhero landing to me. Well, it's probably getting interrupted. Yeah, on my screen, you're just sort of like, like posing every couple of seconds. It's like, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> yeah, well, you see the picture I sent. Like, you can see. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can find. That hostess is like, oh my god, go away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job here. Are you, are you guys going to buy anything uh, or not? No. Duh. <laughs> are you loitering? <laughs> this guy's just getting stuck in a wall next to me. Ugh. It's so weird. People around here. Oh. <laughs> Can't work in these conditions. I'm trying to find. Where did I put the pictures? I know I have pictures from doing that shit. Well, I found a picture of the Aegis shields on the flappies. <laughs> and Kaiden. Because they had they had Aegis shields. For they had the Aegis time. shields. Yeah, yeah. The 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 nest mission. Okay. Kaiden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the birds up there had Aegis shields for the longest time. Oh. <laughs> Here, look. And cannot be hit. Yeah, yeah. You can't. You can't touch them. Yeah, the all seeing Kawhi. Oh, look. There's there's one. Put it in the discard. Oh, yeah. It's got the little icons. The tech shield and the demonic shield. Mm -hmm. And where the hell did I put those pictures? Oh, you know what? Maybe they were... Oh, and the psychic shield. It has a psychic shield first. That's right. That's right. I'm having, like, flashbacks now. I'm like, oh, oh. Right, like how that shit works. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, hey, where'd he go? yeah. Where'd he, go? where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, it's there. Where? Oh, here we go. It's probably in here somewhere. What 
are you? What are you looking for? Uh huh. So what are you looking for? Oh, I was seeing if I could find a picture uh, from when Shadi and I got stuck there before. Oh, okay. Oh, I found it. I found it. He's wearing the taco hat. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay. I got two of them. They're pretty good. <laughs> Look at the number of legs there. We're just like completely <laughs> just a floating pile there. of legs. And then that was one like of us the, going one way. Like the heat of Dama. One of us going one way, one of us going the other way. And merged together. And I'm saying you can't, because that's tips who are asking like if she can get stuck there. And I was like, no, you can't. <laughs> See. This was all stuff from like around the launch. Oh man. Screenshots from the old uh the old Funcom dev stream. <laughs> that's crazy pre pre secret world legends no, no no like launch of secret world legends oh okay do you remember when they had like the map in the background oh like the streaming map on the wall yeah for the stream Say no, that's not ringing a bell. No, for some that reason, for a while. I mean, it's it a long time ago, and every once in a while they have like a, a post it somewhere. Oh, because... yeah, oh, yes, 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 okay, yeah, because like in it, like literally, like behind Tilty's head in the screenshot, there's like uh the map, and you can see D D Democratic Republic of the Congo, <laughs> like because it's just a, it's like a world, it's a world map. Oh, there's there's that time I saw someone that was just a head and shoes running around in Gartha. <laughs> oh man, the the um, whispering tide. Okay, I've got I've got screenshots from that one. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this isn't like related to anything, but I'm just gonna throw this in the in Discord because it's funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> it's a nice picturesque sky on that too. <laughs> just like the headstand on top <clears throat> of the head. <laughs> like hold still. Oh yeah, and I found like the, you know the nursery cinematic where like your legs are cut off. Oh yeah, like you can get it messed up to where your character is not in the the thing, like they're t posing, so they're standing up, so they're not they're not like strapped down to the bed like they're supposed to be. <laughs> okay, like, they're standing up next to it. All right, but they have no <clears throat> legs, so they're just like floating in the air. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it looks super jacked up. It's just like bloody stumps. But you're like floating off the ground. <laughs> Farmer, tell me the secret bug. Tell me. <laughs> what secret bug? It's, uh, I guess to make that happen. Oh, to like uh, run down there with sprint on. Like auto sprint. The biggest, the reason you get like 
T pose type bugs is usually auto sprint because you're sprinting into a cinematic and the sprint messes it up. Because essentially the auto sprint mod will consistently always try and turn sprint on whenever there's a whenever there's a moment to do so. You can get sprint back, like you get sprint back on Onk 6 during the fight all the time with auto sprint. Because when you go up top to fight Klein, for whatever reason, there's a small like millisecond where you're out of combat and the mod goes boop and turns sprint on for you. Which can sometimes kill you as you try and jump for the platform across the filth and then sh shoot past it and, in and into the filth. That can happen. Um, yeah, the double character in uh, in that particular cutscene in Kaiden often is also from Auto Sprint. Auto Sprint basically fucks with a lot of shit because when it's moving you to the cutscene, I think you're technically out of combat, and so it tries to turn Sprint on, but then the game tries to position you, and some weird shit happens, and it gets confused, right? And usually the default thing is it just T-poses you. Uh, here's the one from the here's the one from the nursery. Just just meeting myself without legs. It's pretty cool. <laughs> like hi me. I also love that the laser. By the doing? way, look how the laser is. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. The laser's like this way, but my legs are cut this way. <laughs> and it's over. The laser is not over the table. The laser is over me. Just in, you know yeah. Just over. <laughs> the, the laser has moved with me, but not changed orientation. I think I've got either, um, I'm trying to think of my screenshots from that one. But I know it's like, it's supposed to show you yeah, like without the legs, basically, and uh, no, because the laser is cutting them off like repeatedly, over and over, like keeping them from. It's just keeping you permanently hobbled or whatever. Oh yeah, is the idea. Uh, this the here. Here's a, this is the other part of that cinematic. Um, this is back when my face looked different. The and... female version of the cinematic has legs. <laughs> So this one, <laughs> I just like this one because of like the way Lilith is standing. As if she's like, like <laughs> she's like, I'm not paying attention to what's going on behind me. <laughs> so yeah, there's some pretty, pretty fun stuff there. Oh, I have. Strats from when we dragged a, a regional boss in uh, Basie's farmland all the way to the town because it uh, glitched out and escaped. It, like it literally glitched out and escaped and we got it to the town in Basie's farmland and then the uh, the Zavaristi like defenders started shooting the Flappy <laughs> regional okay. and it was just fucking beeline for them and eat them <laughs> like it was pretty funny and we got it stuck we it got like it they stuck. took they took all aggro yeah we got it stuck on the guy you get the sins of the father mission from varius because as soon as it hit the npc it hit the like no aggro right it usually makes it usually makes uh enemies run away okay and he just got stuck there <laughs> and eventually like a uh, dev showed up and was like, <laughs> no more. Sort of like, he's not supposed to have aggro, but he doesn't really know where to go. Here's, this is something... Because he's not like, supposed to be out here. This is something you'll never see in the game. This is a regional boss versus the world champion that's underneath there. Sort of a Godzilla versus Mothra vibe. <laughs> As a, uh, yeah... That's the that's the super giant Zumi that's mm -hmm. down there in BF. That's like a like a you know group champion. That's like an orange skull, but you need a whole team. 
and uh, we drug we drug him past it, and then yeah, there was like a fight ensued. <laughs> yeah, village eater. That was that was really cool. Actually, on my YouTube channel, there's a whole video of that entire that entire process. It's called "Who Takes Flappy for a Walk." Like we just took that guy, and I have a screenshot, by the way, of the doubling in Kaiden as well. Uh, that's pretty. That's actually pretty common. The doubling shit in Kaiden. Oh, wow. So I do love good screenshots. Yeah, I just like going through. This is actually on my other computer. I just have it mapped over the network. <laughs> <laughs> I have a screenshot. The riverboat. The riverboat in Tyler Freeborn that you can't get on. Oh. I finally, like, I wanted to get on there so bad, and it's not possible. Like, it's, it's a, uh, has no collision. But I was able to jump up and down enough to, like, get a shot of the, like, up, up close. Oh, yeah. Of the riverboat. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I wanted to go on it. But then I went over there, because I, I broke out of, uh, the area in the mm -hmm. beginning and like swam all the way around the entirety of how I born. I came at it from the backside to be able to swim out there. And um, yeah, unfortunately it's just a, a non solid construct. Oh, of course. So, so like when you swim up to it and try and jump on it, you just go through it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like so anything, that was... anything that doesn't have to be solid isn't solid. Oh, I think this is this is a shot from the this is a shot from the side of it. Like a little more of a little more of a side shot there. La last one, last one. That, 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 I like that one. It's like the whole <laughs> boat from the side. The dilapidated. I say it's a, it's a cool model. That's you the only the place we again. see it though, too. I don't think that's anywhere else. Yeah, I'm, I have like the gas mask and the bunny. I'm just kind of like, that was a cool shot. I liked, I liked how that shot turned out. But yeah, I always wanted to go on the riverboat and I finally get out there and you can't go on it. I was really bummed. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Why not? God. I well probably because if you look at it, like I think it was just made to look neat, and oh yeah, and, like, yeah, it's it's, I don't, yeah, I don't think it actually has probably the interior no, stuff. No, no, no. Even it's if just, uh, even yeah. if it was solid, I don't think it would work. It's a set piece, and it's an obvious set piece. Yeah. When did this rock get here? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh. <laughs> It's an Arctic hair that's a oh, rock. Say, is that the Arctic? Uh -huh. is, that, is, that, is this just a rock now? It's just a rock. Okay, wait. Get back here. Get back here. Who? Is that a rock or a potato? I feel like it's a potato. <laughs> I feel like it's a potato. No, I think it's a... It's a rock. It's a rock. I know it looks like a rock. Is it a... Is it a potato be more a, brown. Wait, is it a, is it a Equinox hint? Right, what are those what are those rocks called? For the Equinox? Um I don't I don't know off the top of my head. God damn it. Like the like the stones. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Yeah, no, it's 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 the stones that have like the I mean this one doesn't have it in it, but like the, you know the they have they have like the circle in them. Hagstones. Hagstone. Hagstone. Yeah, that's that's right, yeah, yeah, bomber. Yeah. Thank you, Bomber. If that's what a potato looks like, you may be eating some very old potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's toss totally a potato. Out. 
totally a potato. I mean, you know, well, you can't cut it with a knife. You got to use a hammer to break it apart. It's a actually, you use a very powerful water jet. That cuts <laughs> it. Isn't that how everyone cuts up their potatoes? Yeah, isn't that oh, how yeah. everyone makes potatoes? You mash that. Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> nice. That's that's pretty cool. I feel like I should go uh, if I run down into uh, Main Agartha and just have people following. Can this? Oh, it can get through. Okay. Yeah, it barely fit through. <laughs> just have people surprised. There's someone down here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Where'd it go? It's, it's back oh, it's over by me. It's down here. It ported to you. It did. <laughs> so funny looking. Oh, this went right through me. I feel violated. Just trying to confuse the heck out of violated everybody. Violated with power. Hagstone power. <laughs> this poor rabbit's still dead. <laughs> it's, it's still dead. It's over there. Oh, Jabu. Hagstone's following me. <laughs> To cover cover this poor individual. <laughs> With a hagstone. Ah, oh, they ran away. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't want to be covered with a hagstone. Come here, Waffle. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I've been yeah, absorbed. There's, a waffle inside of it. there's what inside of it? There's a waffle inside of it. Gross. <laughs> Ew. It's a warm, sticky. No, never mind. What? Yeah. So as far as is mourning the bunny. Come here. Come here. Come here. Wait, wait. If I stand inside and then. And then, hold on, hold on. It's no, it's moving around on its own. I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to see if I can get the purple glow to come out of it. There we go. Maybe he doesn't like being on top of people. Might Maybe be not. Trying to change his collision. Right, Claney. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, a, it's always trying to move away. <laughs> like no 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 don't touch me don't don't get inside me but here no. wait you no, you you stay in one place i might be able to put it on over top of you no i think i think it tries to avoid collision like intention like the pets you know what i mean oh no it's in it's on you is it don't move this vision is based on movement <laughs> it's like coming out the what side. Vision? It's close though. It's glowing. What can I do this one? <laughs> <laughs> poking out now. <laughs> Why not? Just all the effects. Right, if you if you try to climb into the pyramid, it doesn't like that. But if I put the pyramid on top of you, oh. that's okay. Well, I think I think um, I'm saying that it's like if you're in the middle. Did you just turn into Shaggy? I did. Yes. Oh. <laughs> what up, Shaggy? Shaggy. It's over nine thousand. Zoinks! No. Right, his power is too much to comprehend. Hey, Amy. Sadly, I can't. I can't do it even halfway decent. Scooby voice. Or uh. Shaggy. Shaggy voice. <laughs> there we go. Got Poland. Jeez, no. That oh, that was. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See? <laughs> Jeez, Scoob. 
That, that was horrible. Just for that. <laughs> <laughs> you what you go this? in the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens, Uni. This is what happens. <laughs> what is this? What is what? You did something horrible in the past life, and now this is what happens. Zoinks! Yeah, see. Just no good. That, that doesn't no sound good. right at all. Scooby? Whoa, whoa, Shaggy! Doesn't want to cover this person. There you go. That's great. I can't even. Yeah. So I will cover I you even, with the Hagstone. I can't even think about Scooby Doo like characters out thinking of the Venture Brothers version of them, anyways. Which, which is they're all like psychotic, and Shaggy's like, like uh, son of Sam. And and Scooby's telling him to kill people. That's all I picture in my head anymore. Because it's not also very nice. it's also animated as well. So like <laughs> I got it's pretty, it's pretty hilarious though. It explained the constant wandering in the van. Cause you know. He was constantly, uh, they're constantly on the run and just like not settling down in one spot so they don't get caught. And you, uh, uh, Scooby Snacks was a, some kind of pill or like LSD or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, right. That, that tracks. That tracks 100%. Yeah, that's, uh, that sounds about right. Oh, should go to the uh, landing zone out here. People uh, flying in from the uh, station master. <laughs> Come here. Come here, guardian. Hello, sir or madam. Have you gatekeeper? Have you heard about the the equinox? Get in. Get in. Hey, he's a too big. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm, think that. I'm drunk right now. I don't think that's gonna work. Nah, probably not. Probably not. Doesn't like. Doesn't like him. He's he's too large. You get in. He's very girthy. That is a level two person. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's tiny now. IP two. Ah! Well, maybe you can fit it in it under his legs now. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we didn't want you assaulting people with it. Oh, that's interesting. It has collision there. Yeah. Gatekeeper is an entity. I like how it's constantly adjusting. Like it keeps spinning around. Ha ha ha! Ha <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. I like that it's still called Arctic Hair, by the way. Oh, yeah. That's pretty funny. Name, name hasn't changed. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think on this note, uh, agents, <laughs> this has been, before it just gets crazier, uh, this has been the Zero Point Report, strain 47-FMA. You can catch us recording live every other Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here on the Zero Point Report Twitch channel, where you could also join us and chat with us while we do the show live, or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. Jimmy, where can we find you online? Um, the darkest corners out. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> right, right here. Only on the dark web. <laughs> 
uh, jimmytherabbit.com, youtube.com slash jimmytherabbit, twitch.tv slash jimmytherabbit, and at one Jimmy the Rabbit on Twitter. And two ton waffle, where can we find you? On the light side of the corner of the internet. <laughs> the fully lit. The fully uh, lit. The kitty side with, of the internet. Exactly. The, er, the, uh, <laughs> the suburbs. <laughs> In the shallow, shallow section. <laughs> Yeah, you can find me over at uh, twotonewaffle.com. I have all my links there for different places. I'm on YouTube, Trovo, and and Discord. Awesome. And I'm Ocho, and you can find me both on Twitter and on uh, and here on Twitch at Big Mikey Ocho. And I can stream again. I can stream yay! again. Because I have my internet that was out for two months, but it's back. So yay, I can stream again. Uh... You can get in touch with us by engaging with the show on Twitter at Zero Point Report, emailing us at the Zero Point Report at gmail.com, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel, and joining us on our Discord server, both named the Zero Point Report. From all of us here at the Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in and wish you all the best from the secret world. Have a great night, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Later, Tater.